And here we go. Ooh, someone's got a new hair. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Clash of Giants Season 4. And this is the Pim Stage. Together with us, your casters. My name is Sir Cloud. Together with the, well, not Red Queen. Well, it's, I, I, is it Ash Queen now? No, it's still Red Queen, but uh, I don't oh, know if you wow. noticed something uh, different about me, Sir Cloud. But yeah, everything oh, is still yeah. the same, you know, it's just the hair and probably my background. But yeah, we've uh, actually came from a two day break. We're done with the qualifiers and now we are going to do the playoffs. So hopefully you guys are ready for this. How are you, Sir Cloud? Well, I am very much surprised <laughs> because it's not only your hair that changed, but your voice what? as well. Really? Yeah. I know, yeah. You know, I, I think uh, I think Red Queen is not available to cast for today's event. So this is actually, I'm deceiving you guys. I'm not Red Queen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the only no, Red is your background <laughs> now. Yeah, but your voice changer is very, very insane. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm just, you know, just poking fun at you guys. Hopefully you guys uh, are enjoying because this is Friday. I mean... Instead of you guys going out to party, you know, I'm very excited that you have been, you want to spend your Friday night with us because you just know that we have, you know, the best teams right here inside the Clash of Giants Season 4. So let's start the tournament, shall we? But before heading to our main program, let's talk about the point system. By now, you guys have been watching a lot of tournaments happen. So this is pretty basic. You know how it is. Uh, for the first placer, it's automatic. 10 points, ladies and gents. That would be the chicken dinner. Ladies and gentlemen, whatever happened during the start of the show was not scripted, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just saying, just saying. But what is kind of scripted is our format mm -hmm. and is, of course, a fix. Uh, because we are currently at the prelims. We will have 16 teams uh, in two different groups. Group A and also Group mm -hmm. 6 matches where we play every day. And uh, six and uh, these or these groups will be uh, fighting for the slot onto the playoff. Definitely. You know what? Clash of Giants, it keeps getting better and better. I do love Ruthless Hype Esports. So if you guys are watching right now, you don't want to miss on any of the action that is happening inside our community. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And, of course, when we talk about what is at stake, what are the teams fighting for exactly? This is the prize pool distribution. Again, it's a total of 15,000 US dollars. And the first placer, of course, will going to get $1,000. $250 and this is just the playoff Sir Cloud yes means that from the prelims they will still need to fight to at least get into the playoff to earn those prizes but here are your prelims invited teams ladies and gentlemen mm. as you can see here we are divided into groups so we're going to start off the first three days starting from today with group A and then on the 22nd of April for three days we will be watching Group E. So remember your favorite teams for the next three days. In case you're wondering, like, oh, where is Boom Esports? Where is Space Clan? Where's my favorite? That Hora Esports. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. They'll be playing on the 22nd onward. Yes, and again, you should follow not just the YouTube page, but the uh, Facebook page as well. Uh, that's where we post everything that is going on inside this tournament. Um, and also, if you're looking for the highlights in case you guys would want to watch, again, your favorite player do a squad wipe, a wipe or actually eliminate uh, someone else inside a battlefield, all you need to do is just follow the TikTok page, Sir Cloud, uh, because that's where we post everything that is epic related when it comes to clutch moves, that is. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. Show us some love, ladies and gentlemen. Give us a follow on our social media as well. We check out the squad roster list. There is a, a change in a DRS Ooh. game here. I know there are a lot of DRS fans out there, and you guys probably got the news earlier than us. Well, being fans. So, the uh, previous IGL of DRS Gaming, that is Rules, have left DRS, and now he's playing with T2K. Oh my goodness, again, coming from the walking encyclopedia himself, there you go ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I think I've heard about this news, so I'm excited to see just how uh, good of a performance he can show us for tonight. He's going to play, we'll just have to see about that one. And also, you know, uh, there's a 
some girls playing uh, apparently inside this tournament. So that's uh, coming from Stalwart Esports. So we got Duka, Wisdom, and the rest of the girls that's uh, actually completing the whole squad. Oh, I'm absolutely excited right now. Like diversity is best here <laughs> at the Clash of Giants season four. Other than that, of course, we got Play Esports, we got Geek Fam here, still with the same lineup. But there's that one player now that uses a a, a, a human symbol, a a, a, a stand. Yeah, I huh. don't know. If, if he plays, I don't know how to play GM. You know, guys, we're here to cast the game, right? We're not here to guess your name. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, I think uh, I'll just give him a name. I'll, I call him Hangman. It looks like Hangman. Hangman. <laughs> so we call him Hang then. Yo, Hang <laughs> up. Yeah. Yo, Hang, what's up? And we also got your favorite guys from A51 and uh, the Deva United Helios, of course. Yeah, the champ of the uh, qualifiers Android 51 will be going up against these guys. I mean it is literally clash of giants right now and the uh, champions of the qualifiers they definitely showed a lot of good quality work during that stage so interesting to see how will they fare against all these big boys yeah we'll uh, definitely ask the same questions you know which of the teams would think is really gonna be gonna be dominating the hobby or which of the teams would think is uh gonna have like a, a slowdown when it comes to their uh, st strats and their uh, gameplays but we are most excited about the fact just how well these guys are going to be battling it out with one another of course to get their hands on the lion's share of that prize which is fifteen thousand us dollars so we're pretty excited at how everything's going to be unfolding for this if this is day number one of the playoff sir cloud so i'm really really excited for this absolutely i'm stoked as well i mean these are amazing games. now uh from the playoff the uh champion will move on to the grand finals okay we're gonna set the tone here okay champion mm -hmm. will jump straight onto the grand final uh, the second to 12th place will move to the uh playoffs from the films which is the the days that we'll be playing right now Mm. The bottom four be eliminated. So whatever it is, you don't want to be on 13 onwards. Basically, bottom four. Yeah, pretty much just like what happened during the uh, qualifying rounds. I mean, it was pretty epic. Out of the 18 teams, only the five teams actually proceeded to the playoffs. And it was a tight competition. Everyone. In case you missed it, oh man, there was some pretty big moves that happened. Although, it was a, an unusual end game for me, Sir Cloud. It, it, it started out really, really passive for, for like the final match of a qualifying round. But towards the end of the game, I think it was uh, pretty explosive. But it's going to be the same format, right? We're going to kick things off in Sandhawk, and then we're going to have three Erangles, and then we're going to cap off the night with two Mitamars. Oh yeah, same thing ladies and gentlemen, but it'll be six matches and these timings are based on GMT plus seven. For you guys out there watching, uh, you gotta attune the timing depending on the time zone you're at. So like for me, Red Queen, we have plus eight GMT, so we have mm -hmm. uh, added an hour to whatever that we see on schedule. But for you guys out there, it really depends on where you I mean, that's the whole fun of it, right? Yeah. This <laughs> tournament itself, it's going global, and I'm so happy to see the growth of Clash of Giants. Oh man, you know what? Now that you mention it, I'm just happy. Because we started really small, right? I mean, this is not even the prize pool before. And Red Queen is really happy because uh, in a way, I kind of started season two if i'm not mistaken now we are at season four and everything is just we're wishing actually to have a LAN event probably in nepal or malaysia we still don't know but we already have our fingers crossed because we want to meet you guys as well you know we want to hear uh, how you guys cheer for your favorite teams we want to feel your vibe your energy everything else in between really excited for that one but Again, Sir Cloud, we're back to this. I, I hate doing this, but we have to do this. Of course, the prediction. And right now, we all have one point. Production has one. You have one. I have one point. So why don't you start off with your prediction for the first match this evening? All right. Since it's the first game, I mean, no data, no expectations. <laughs> we, we don't really know how they're going to fare. 
like the Magu players coming in, tryouts and all that. So I'm gonna stick to home then. I'm gonna stick to home. So let's go with the Yudu Alliance. Ooh, okay, cool. All right, that's really cool. Um, you know what? Just for the heck of it, because I'm such a, you know, a, a, a pro women type of uh, caster, I'm gonna go with the girls. So, Stored Esports, locking it in. I like, I like a prediction. I like a prediction. I mean, I do hope that they can do as well, like, uh, and, and show to everyone, like, hey, you know what? That doesn't matter, all right? But uh, a pro team picked IHZ. The reigning world champions. Ooh, that Ooh. that is a solid pick, alive. Giving me goosebumps right now, sir, Carl. Oh my goodness! But hey, we would love to know your choice. Uh, which of the teams you think is gonna get the first winner with the chicken dinner? This is day one of the playoffs. We've got our first game in Sandhawk, so you just know that we are in for a treat so we would love to know about your favorite team please type it down there in the comment section and while you guys are at it please don't forget to invite your friends invite your loved ones invite everyone you think is going to enjoy a good battle royale game so we will wait on that one. Oh yeah absolutely definitely is going to be a uh, a party it's going to be an exciting show looking at just the names that show up here uh, I'll be also interested to really see how N51 is going to fare against all these big boys as well. So that's something that I want to uh, keep an eye on too. But uh, also a little bit of a uh, additional fact for your pick, Star Wars Esports uh, girls. Uh, they were the uh, came from the Ladies Showdown Season 2. Also brought to you by Ruthless Hype East, by the way. So it, again, it just shows that Ruthless Hype is about, man, you guys are doing an amazing job for the community, for all walks of life. So, keep it up. <laughs> yeah, I love uh, I love the fact that the girls are finally stepping up their gameplay just to make sure that they showcase their talents and their skills. You know, when it comes to playing our favorite game, which is PUBG Mobile. So I expect nothing less. You know, coming from these girls, I know that they're gonna rock the stage definitely. We absolutely, I can't wait because we're gonna start it hard and fast inside of Sand Hall. And obviously, we know that by now, Sand Hall it is the smallest map inside of <laughs> PUBG Mobile, and uh, the uh, because of that, the uh, potential clash is definitely there. So, mm -hmm. almost usual spots, boot camps, um, Paradise Resort, yeah. maybe even Ruins. We saw that a couple of days ago, the final days of the qualifiers. So that could happen uh -huh. again. Oh, well, you know, Red Queen, I love the action, so I always look forward to the teams that will choose to, uh, you know, drop in those areas that you mentioned just a while ago, Sir Cloud. So, um, I love, uh, you know, uh, teams actually battle it out and early onset and just really settling the score uh, right from the beginning of the matches. So, that's what I'm looking forward to. You know what else I'm... Look right now is your new hair. Tell us about your new hair. We we do have time. <laughs> no, actually, I just really wanted to have something new to uh, show you guys. You know, we we came from a two day break. This is day number one of the playoffs, so I kind of wanted to show you, um, just entertain you guys. I did my voice change. You know, different background, different hairstyle. But uh, do you want me to continue doing this kind of hairstyle, or do you want the old? hairstyle back so if you guys have been watching ruthless hype esports you've seen you know what my hair really looks like so what do you guys think is this good do i continue with this kind of hairstyle or do you want the old red queen back or do you want my voice back <laughs> oh i'm not gonna lie voice that uh they caught us all off guard it's like did you do it on purpose or was it on purpose we weren't sure at some point but the production <laughs> team had a good laugh for sure oh definitely well that's the the whole reason why we're doing this whole show you know this is uh um for me clash of giants is more of a community gathering you know like this is a celebrity show match this is just you know like um like a fan service with a lot at stake, by the way, with a lot at stake. I mean, this whole thing is already partnered up with TikTok. 
So it only means that with your love and support, this whole organization, this whole tournament is actually growing. And again, I am happy that we are a part of it, that I am a part of it. You guys have been the awesomest community I've ever been to. And so I'm always happy to be here, you know, casting for you guys and putting up really a good show. Yeah, we, we are really happy to be here. It's always that off-season tournament that we are always looking for. So glad to be back here again, ladies and gentlemen, to, of course, be together with Unity. And like what to say, this is a community tournament and it's a lot of people together. It's real fun. But you know what? Um, when, when I had my interaction with teams, uh, they mentioned that they look forward to this tournament as well as an off-season practice for them. So this is a serious practice for the teams which is great right if it's practice for yes. them they'll be doing their best we'll get to see the best and that's how we get the team. yeah the thing is even if this is like an off-season tournament this is a brutal training ground you know uh, i mean sometimes you know teams really try out their um second stringers you know sometimes the teams they don't play with the main roster right but this is uh, like the most perfect opportunity for them to try out a lot of stuff if it's effective or not and also for us to kind of a check like okay here's a new player okay this is someone that we should watch out for inside the battlefield or like this is a, a lineup that is kind of dangerous when you come across them inside any maps in PUBG so we keep it interesting for you guys Ruthless Hype Esports always keeps it very interesting for each and every one of you yes and it's real interesting about 10 more seconds as we head on to our flight I noticed a lot of A1 fans out there A1 fans put your heads up well I don't think that you're actually <laughs> doing that but anyway here we go set our game one of our prelim all right yeah i mean a1 uh, this is like one of the best fandoms you know inside of gmail they're so big they're very supportive and win or lose by the way sorry cloud right they're all they're always there you know to support the team especially sinister so yeah i'm always excited whenever a1 is inside the tournament but here we go let's start the first match this evening again as you can see the fly pad has favored the north side and you can see the teams already dropping into their favorite spots we're looking at paradise we're looking at boot camp we're looking at you know um perhaps cow area because okay cow is actually empty but uh, most of the teams, I think, are headed down south this time, Sir Cloud. Well, to my surprise, Bootcamp is empty as well. Let's see, he spotted Ooh. that, so he's dropping in there all alone. So every time Bootcamp will be there. Yes, but look at Ruin. We have Devil United and Vampire Esports. Oh my goodness, this early? Oh man, we, we also have, uh, I believe some players come from IHC that is already knocked down. Some of the players uh, from uh, Vampire as well. So we are seeing you know, an early battle happen. We've got two players already knocked down coming from the side of IHC and it looks like the battle is done. We've got our first team to be eliminated and wow. this is, oh, even Vampire Esports already gone. Yeah, make that two teams eliminated. That is something. Well, you asked for act, now you're getting it. Oh, Mob yeah. GPX now coming in. Going up against the opponent from DRS. And here we go. I know a lot of DRS fans are looking to cheering for their favorite team. Gante gets the first knock. Mm hmm. DRS with the number advantage, of course, but we've got one player who's a little bit low on the HP. But uh, it looks like Morph is uh, doing a little bit of the reset. Okay, this is a good uh, standoff between these two teams. A lot of action, just like what we mentioned just a while ago. But Morph GPX uh, obviously is at the disadvantage side. Will they be engaging still or will they opt to back off? Ooh, but looks like nobody is uh, willing to back off right now. Both of these teams really want to go ahead and other. And Morph GPX, two of the, one of the players knocked. They managed to reset that player. Now... They're on the standoff, but oh, look at this minimap. There's actually another team. 
Oh, we we got a okay yeah you're right i mean three teams i believe the other team is a51 so mm. if you guys missed you know the action during qualifying rounds a51 is the uh, most dominant team that we've had so uh i'm uh, excited how they're going to be playing this time with uh you know most of the big boys in the region right inside the clash of giants and uh, drs as well as morph gpx man i mean these guys are heavy hitters so can they survive stage one here in sandhawk oh man this could be that's going to be a real a question to answer at least they are in the first stage of the circle so it's probably going to be a standoff if you look at the situation a51 they do have the uh, better exit plan compared to mm. the other two teams. And, uh, they, but however, we seem to be really interested in that. They want to take the fight to the big boys. Yeah, I mean, you're right, Sir Cloud. This is like a, a good chance for them to kind of just like join into the mix, you know, get lucky with the shots and just do the third party thing while DRS as well as Morph GPX is busy dealing with one another. Um, uh, this is the right time for them to kind of just like put some numbers on the scoreboard and just like. Uh, leave the scene for a while or it depends on how they're going to be approaching the situation but yeah we are seeing a little bit of a Mexican standoff happening in Sammy as we speak yeah I mean uh, when is this going to be broken I think it's uh, it will take under stage number two so circle moves away but look at the elimination fee so we got BTR Gen Force taking out a Jobrenki, mm. and also A1 is in action. And, he is, and they are in the final top three a Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's coming from Rowdy, by the way. Rowdy has one point under his belt, definitely. That's coming off of the kill feed. Now, Bigatron Red Aliens. All right. Two of their players already knocked down, but they already have three elimination points. Uh, Satar, again, one of the crowd's favorite, is uh, a little bit far from the rest of the team. So he is doing the off angle this time. Now, jumping into A1. Okay, we have uh, one casualty, so they are dealing with three players. But do they have the advantage? I believe so, because we can see three of the players come from BTR already on the ground and Satar seems to be the only player left this time. Ooh, look at this, Red Queen. Look who A1. It is my man Rowdy. <laughs> With this time, so looking forward to see what's gonna what's he what, what's pull off in this uh, round. Mm. So far so good for A1. Every single one of the got elimination points. Just unfortunately yeah. they have to sacrifice their star. Yeah, but BTR, man, I mean, not a good start for them. But we do have, uh, like, uh, uh, what do you call it, a strong lineup for the team. I mean, we've got Lapar, we've got Satar, we've got Loxy and Zoxy in this game alone, Sir Cloud. So it is uh, mind-boggling how they lost, you know, um, inside, the cla inside the clash. So... I do hope Satar be uh, will be a little bit smart when it comes to picking their his battles, and I do hope he gets to the latter stages of the game because this is this is huge. Yeah, just like every other gamer would say, right? Well, it's first round, okay? We're warming up, we're getting into the groove, we're getting into the game, we're getting us right. So maybe in the next map mm -hmm. of your wrangle, they will be able their best. So keep an eye on <laughs> BTR. I mean, this is the first team lineup of BTR that we're talking about. Oh, yeah. I mean, Bigatron, Red Aliens this time. And speaking of BTR, I do believe coming off from uh, from production just a while ago, we do have a feed that is dedicated to oh, the yeah. fans, right? So from their point of view, you can just search for it. Uh, I think it's posted. The link is posted down there um, on our YouTube page. So you just look for it. If in case you guys are like really fanatics of uh, BTR, you can check out their POV. We have a, a dedicated stream for that one. Uh, for that one, again, organized by Ruthless Hype Esports. Yeah, and uh, I am having a preview of this. Is actually, the first time that we see something like that by mm -hmm. any tournament. So it's great to get to see your favorite teams and follow every single part of their journey even though they're not doing anything but hey you know what <laughs> it doesn't matter sometimes yeah because uh 
as fans, whatever they do, you support. Of course, and if you are one of those who idolizes them and aspires to be like, okay, I want to be this kind of player, you know, in the future, that would be a like a great opportunity for you to just kind of observe how they do it, how the idols do it. But hoo hoo, man, DRS Killer Whitey is currently on the ground, and it was Rex coming from A51 that actually shut him down. Wow. Oh, but uh, now that he's been shut down. I wonder, will there be any follow-up? Because uh, this fight has to end since the circle moved away as expected. Mm. And in about three more seconds, the zone will close. But if you look at the current situation and Dark 51, they have to pay the advantage. All right, we already have one player knocked down from the side of Morph GPX. Uh, not quite sure if any of the teammates can go for that quick pickup. Okay, so I believe there is one. They need all the firepower. Of course, that would always be an advantage. But we've got Mukesh on the top of the houses here, like Spider-Man. I think he's spotted. Uh, are they going to be engaging? Yes, I do believe so. But this is like information gameplay for now. But one wrong move can be detrimental for any of the teams here. Ooh! Accurate made coming from zero. Wow, nicely done. Look at him too far away from his other teammates. It's gonna be hard to save him. So now the blue will arrive at first. It's gonna land on to DR. Next, he's gonna be on to Moth GPX, followed by Android 51. So who is going to leave this compound now? In fact, Ooh. Android 51, if they have enough first, they need to play Rex Pass or first AT. He can wait on top of the cell. And the moment the other opponent show up, he can shoot. Mm hmm. Mukesh is still, you know, uh, down at the moment. Uh, BTR? Ooh, they are uh, dominating the uh, match number one with one player, by the way. Five elimination points for BTR alone. That is already a decent number, um, considering that we are at stage two and considering the fact that we only have one player left for the team. But again, all of these three teams that you can see on the screen is already playing outside of the zone. So if they want to do their business, they have to get it over and done with, Sir Cloud. Yeah, I mean, uh, they must, because look at the uh, spread of players on the minimap, right? They are kind of like surrounding each other now, so even an egg is not going to cut it. They have to win the fight. Yeah, but uh, how they're going to be escaping this situation, that could be a little tricky. They need a very good maneuver here, but here comes Rex with the DBS. Oh no, he turned his back, huh. but quickly countered that attack coming from Morph, so... One point under his belt, I guess. Well, uh, let's see if Kanza can add one to his belt with Sleepy just right below him and Killer on the other side. While mm. we are approaching each number three, so this is where we'll be able to start <laughs> to see how many first aids that they have. And uh, look at how far uh -oh. they are from Sami from the circle. The circle will go on Bane Peninsula. Good luck tracking in. I'm pretty amazed of the fact that boot camp remained to be empty up until now. I mean, we just entered stage number three, and it looks like, you know, teams are just getting ready to uh, get inside the boot camp this time. But I'm pretty sure there's a lot of resources inside because nobody actually went in to pillage through boot camp. But the fight is still not over. We still got DRS and A51 left to deal with one another. Um, uh, number advantage, I'm checking it out. I do believe one of the teams still has a complete set of players. Oh no, it's A51, they already have one casualty. And uh, we're jumping into Dewa United this time versus IHC. This is the production's uh, prediction. Ooh, let's see. IHC so far, so far, them. still the full squad with four eliminations. But four miracle vibes. And I did manage to get a knockdown on someone else. And we have that uh, Dewa United on screen. But oh boy, is melting in the open. Ooh. Baby Eye has to go and save him. Yeah, Snowboy at this point is Olaf. All right, this is not a good spot for him. I mean, you are in the hottest map. Oh, okay, not even the hottest. It's in Miramar. But you know what? The weather feels kind of the same here. Back in the real world, Sir Cloud, it is so hot right now. And all of this action that I'm watching makes it even hotter. So let's check out A51. They already have three elimination points, but they are out there looking to consume some more 
and let's check out if they're going to be backing out in this situation considering that they are already outside of the jo uh, outside of the zone and they don't have that much resources left but uh, drs i think they are in the same boat with them so are they going to be dealing with each other are going to be the, uh, are they going to be eliminating each other that is still the big question ladies and gents now jumping into geek fam okay i do believe they are very near with yudo alliance this time okay to big boys from the Malaysian region now with Audrey flanking from the Euro Alliance does not seem to know that he's there let's see if he will track up to the high ground because it's kind of risky for him as well backup is on the way perhaps do that once they're in a better position mm -hmm. okay so the only member that is quite new for me Sir Cloud would be Flax uh, can you tell us something about Flax Ah, Flax. So, Flax has been with the team for quite a while now. He played during the uh, last year's MGC. And, uh, yeah, so far he has been uh, one of those who have been uh, very, very strong for the team. Also a national representative for the country. Ooh. So, with that kind of status, definitely adds a lot of value to Yudu Alliance. But now, it's on them to put the work in because the circle will shift towards bootcamp. And just look at that, it's the stalwart girls that's uh, currently holding the fort, you know, for the bootcamp area. But you know what? <laughs> Again, we're going back to DRS on A51 and Killer, oh, as well as Gyanter. I believe they're both down at the moment. So this is a, this is a fair five because uh, checking out uh, A51, they also have two players left. Uh, Killer YT already back in the lobby. Same thing goes for XMPL, mm. but Sleepy. Oh man, it's the Blue Reaper who actually got him. Yeah, put this at the Blue Reaper. And Rums, same oh, goes for man. him. I mean, the Red Queen, uh, this is something that we would have expected. Uh, yeah. Looking at the fact that they have not moved from Sami since stage one. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. But the good thing about this for A51, they've managed to uh, rack up a total of six elimination points. So uh, for me, that is still a decent number uh, and a so-so, you know, start for for this evening. Now let's check out IUC Esports. They already have five elimination points. We're down to just 11 teams. And right now, as you can see on the screen, Goth is doing a, a massive spray up against Dewa United this time. We've got nukes on the ground. It's a little bit tricky for the side of Dewa United to pick up their teammate. But the good thing about this is the fact that nukes is actually behind, uh, you know, that big rock over there. So he has a little bit of uh, cover. Yeah, but the uh, hitman knows that Geek Fam is in front of them. And when he's talking about cover, is Geek Fam, they do have a... Decent amount of cover, but I think they're in the circle yet, so they have to move anyway. Speaking about yeah. movement, you do a line move into the circle, so Geek Fam did not take the fight against them earlier. Yeah, Geek Fam. Oh man, okay, that was an essential uh, shot coming from a uh, damn beautiful putting a stop oh. onto A1 right there, but Sinister! Oh man, being Sinister right, was able to shut down. Uh, Geek Fam from that angle, and now he is on his way to pick up his fallen comrade. But look at that, starting strong, six elimination points. I do hope that they can maintain the space, they can maintain the consistency. And Alex again was able to shut down Nukes. Oh man, give this guy a break. Man, is not letting the members of Dewa United go at all. Geek Fam out at number nine, any elimination points. So no points for Geek Fam this round. The Alex knows that there's one more behind that tree. All he needs to do is hold his ground and he'll definitely take out his opponent. And uh, speaking of rules from T2K, I think he he got sent back to the lobby this time. Stage 5 in Sandhawk. But uh, yeah, a lot of pressure for those teams who are trying to get inside the zone. T2K tried to dance with the devil and yes, sir! He was able to shut him down. Uh, they are, uh, of course, proceeding to get inside the zone safe. And IHC, man, they already lost one of their members, which is godless. And we got uh, Rogue here on this high ground. Baby Iron has pretty much nowhere to go. I mean, uh, how he's going to mm -hmm. escape this, right? The fact that they reunited, they got godless. That is already a, a big feat. 
And now we Rogue mm. having a good clear shot with the high guy advantage. There's almost no mm. way for baby Iron to run. All right, good shot, good shot. Oh man, okay. Mm. So Rogue has his eyes set on him, so I don't think he's going anywhere. Oh. But oh, Hitman! Put off guard by Batman! Oh, there's no escaping Batman right there. Sinister cooking up that nade. Throwing up against IHC Alex. Very low in HP, but he is still doing some pretty high damage right there. Alex still trying to do a massive spray up against 4MV this time, Sir Cloud. Just look at that IHC. Nine elimination points. Stage five of this match. And uh, just around the corner is Zul coming in from behind. They will take out to find a few members of four medical buys. I ain't seen up a rampage. Ten elimination points for the side of IC man. The first team to actually cross the double digit score for the first match this evening, man. Talk about starting strong. Swords, uh, we have 47.79%, so the biggest chance to actually score that chicken dinner. But A1 man, right at the edge of the zone. We still got Sinister as the lone wolf. All right, but uh, again, eight points is, uh, I guess, a pretty decent number as well. Um, and reaching stage six in the first match is a strong start as well for the... Uh, for the a for the a1 team and now here comes igneous d2k esports this time he knows that sinister is right behind that boulder over there who's I'm, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be applying some pressure yo yeah absolutely three players from d2k a pleasure onto a1 sinister nowhere to go look at the side it's on top of IHC, oh. but now they're going for the uh, rush onto Sinister, and that is the end for the final player of A1. I mean, they really have that much options. <laughs> I mean, they, they went in for, for the pinch, right? T2K, um, they would want to score the first chicken dinner, obviously. Uh, but looking at the situation, when it comes to number advantage, it's definitely stalwart esports, followed by IHC, and then T2K. But four elimination points for T2K. And now on the screen, we've got Scalera or Escalera, if I'm not mistaken, is right behind that post. Just waiting for that right opportunity for, I mean, to get a knock right up against their offices. And Joel doing a massive spray, trying to get lucky with the shots while they, they move forward. I mean, good tactics, right? They're popping off the smoke to conceal their location. But unfortunately, Suyog got tagged by Rogue IHC. Oh, here we go. Suyong on his knees and the rest of P2K will not be able to save it unless they win the fight against IHC. So, knocked down by Escalera. Looking for more right now. Escalera behind this tree. Igneous is still a oh, as long as can heal up and so. Nice! And Escalera, what a shot! Oh, man, good beat. But, okay, I mean, it's a little bit exposed. He moved forward and Alex just capitalized on that one. And now he's picking up Joel. Oh man, this is pretty intense, but we've got Igneous going in, moving forward. Oh, can he score this point? Here he comes, the attack of the UFC. Yes. He tried to send his shots down players coming from the side of T2K. Oh man, now it's between Starward Esports and T2K. First chicken dinner and Starward looking really good. I mean, we're talking about Oh, versus two at this moment. Nate's locked on to the side of T2K. T pinned to the corner. Nowhere to go. Ignis. And the fourth round. One day by Ignis. And then last. But the counter came in. Leaving only one player left. Alright, here we go. That is pretty exciting. We've got Liu cooking up at Molly. He threw it up against the Igneous, this uh, Igneous is actually burning oh. up by Soya with very low HP. We've got Liu with a DBS on no. it. The girls actually won the first match here at Clash of Giants Season 4. And a Red Queen scores first prediction point at the desk. Wow. Whew. Man, what? What? Oh, I mean, I I'm just lost for words. I am amazed. By the fact that even at the right timing towards the end, yes, they yeah. waited for the fight to end and they came in. This is a third party, but it's all about tactics. It's all about tactics. It's all about timing. It's all about patience. So great work there. Who run the world? Girl.
All right, here we go. Good set for the ladies, right? Now we got Liu, Violet, we got Wisdom, and of course, uh, Duke. They only have uh, two elimination points, I believe. But with that winner with a chicken dinner, they scored a total of 12 points inside Sandhawk match. Wow. 12. Man, I mean, uh, this is a very good start for the play. Mm -hmm. All right, anyway. It is uh, one knockout for Liu and uh, the rest of them, Violet, uh, Wisdom here, Duka, remember their names. Uh, they could bring more surprises coming around. And Violet, no feeling at all. This just shows that how safe she puts herself in. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And again, you know, consistency is uh, the key. But when it comes to uh, teams to watch, at least for Sandhawk, it would be T2K, I just see. And A1, of course. I mean, all of the teams that we've mentioned right now really scored some pretty good numbers, right, for the first match. But, uh, again, for the format, Sandhawk will only be played once every day. So we just have to watch out again tomorrow if in case, uh, you know, a team will be uh, consistently dominating the uh, jungle but let's check out sir cloud who is the mvp oh this is not a surprise at all we always see this guy rocking out the mvp title four elimination points 1026 damage output and of course 36 or 37 percent right if, if we're going to be rounding it off team contribution so that is ihc Joe. oh yeah absolutely yo Four elimination, part of the champion team, I need Steve Esports. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, more, you know, I kind of felt that the IAC could have got the chicken dinner and the production would be the PS, but hey, you know what? <laughs> this time it's Red Queen time. <sighs> Good start for me, I guess. I do hope I can uh, keep my, my consistency uh, as well. Now, top performers, ladies and gents, is Joel, obviously, followed by Alex. We've got Rex and uh, Escaletta as well of uh, T2K. But uh, team contribution, uh, contribution highest goes to Rex of A51. Yeah, I've seen him several times on the screen knocking out players from, you know, left, right, back, front, and center. Uh, speaking about teams that uh, knock out players left, right, and center, the most eliminates given to A1 with uh, mm. 8 eliminations. Besides IAC, that is. Obviously, IAC has the most significant dinner, but uh, A1 is eliminated. That's going to be. Other joining the uh, double digit uh, club, it's going to be T2K, team with 13 points, and we got STP, of course, at 12 points as well. Uh, checking out the uh, match stack. So, 64 throwables used, plus one of the lowest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we do expect that kind of number, right, at the beginning of uh, yeah, the beginning of the tournament. I mean, Sandhawk, again, is a small map, but we do expect this number, of course, to go higher as we progress for, uh, for this evening. And uh, when it comes to the longest elimination distance, it goes to Hitman of A1. I do believe that was 320. If I read that right, so rejoice, A1 fans! Yep, A1 fans. I mean, uh, looking at the team, how they play, they're looking really, really well. As we a revamped lineup the last time we saw them. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be seeing more after this. But before we do that, we'll be taking a short break. See you guys after this.
to kick things off in Sandhawk, ladies and gents, the girls definitely rocked the first match. Welcome back to Clash of Giants Season 4, brought to you by Ruthless Hype Esports. You guys are still with your favorite casters, of course, Red Queen and Sir Cloud. Man, the late open up the chicken dinner. Wow, looking forward for more from not gonna lie there. So let's see here, because we're gonna switch up the maps after this. We're gonna head on to Irrel. So it's going to be a different challenge. Obviously, some of the teams that were eliminated, just like Vampire Esports, for example, I'm sure they'll be looking to revenge, get a comeback. And the boys are going to be joining us too, right? I mean, they qualified for the playoffs. Hold on a second, did they? Which team? From Stalwarts. Oh, oh unfortunately, they did not. Yeah. Oh man, really? Okay. Well, it's the ladies. It's the ladies. So we're um, hoping for more. Actually, we're looking forward to more chicken dinners coming from this amazing ladies of Sword Esports. But then again, prediction time, Sir Cloud. Okay. Can we ask production to go first? Like, yeah, let's, production. Let's see. Yeah, it's Prince's turn. All right, to go first. Uh, let's see what the uh, for the take. Mm. I know it's a headache, right? Ooh. Okay. Okay. Rules in this new any team G two K. Right. Okay. I think I'm gonna go second. Um. You know what? It's such a strong start for this team, and I always, oh. always watching out for like some of the best clutch moves this team has to offer. So I'm going to go ahead and lock in A1. I, A1! I I was expecting you to say IHC, but okay, cool. So I'm in that. Let's go. IHC Esports. Bam! Yeah, this is their... Uh, it's their kingdom right at the moment, right? They're the reigning champions, IHC. But... Uh... Again, uh, we're looking at the uh, Titans, you know, coming from uh, the regions here in Asia. So we are excited that they are all here giving us a good show. And these guys are not disappointing us whatsoever. They're really, really performing for you guys tonight. So we are looking forward to the fact that, you know, out of all of these teams, who will wear the crown for the Clash of Giants Season 4? I mean, T2K, I believe... Um, already won this whole thing uh they were champions at some point right but for season four who do you think is gonna be the kings Ooh. of the battle I mean, wow honestly so to tell so if we were to mm, i mean it's so hard to tell right i am um, well boom esports have been really really strong mm -hmm. um i mean they were they were champions of southeast asia so Perhaps, and again, we didn't put them up against like teams from the South Asia region. But okay, but if I were to put my money on a team right now, I'll put on Falcon to a group B. They were former Star Wars esports play top action nerds that I see there. So yeah, how can we not? <laughs> how can we deny them? You're right. I mean, yes. I mean, they left their, um, you know, uh, Swords uh, management, and now they are they formed a new team right under Falcon. So, I believe you know up until this time, everyone is still talking about that. Well, you know, the the move so far, the the controversial issue about them, or what the reason why they moved to another management. But you know, all of the issues, anything. Um, it will all be settled inside the battlefield. Now, Top and the rest of the gang inside Clash of Giants Season 4, um, probably one of the teams that we need to watch out for and what they're going to do, what they have in store for us. I mean, are they? do they have like a plan of really getting the crown or just going to... Are just like, are they gonna cruise, you know, just inside Clash of Giants? Season 4? I mean, we have a lot of questions, right? I mean, sometimes veteran teams, veteran players, they, they don't really like exposing their tactics or like their gameplay and their strategies inside an offseason tournament. But then again, there's a lot of eyes watching Falcon right now. 
Absolutely. The team to watch, definitely Falcon. But from me, I'd like to hear what Red Queen has in store. If I were to throw, to throw you the same question. What questions, Red Cloud? Which team do you think will win the entire tournament this season? Oh, man, that is such a huge question. I cannot even go through matches without, you know, like uh, having a wrong prediction. But to win this entire thing, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I see is looking really, really cool right now, like really strong so they're up there uh, in my uh, list there's also falcons of course top has been uh, amazing all the time um oh man it's uh it's uh, i think i'm gonna ex I, I think i'm gonna answer a question at the end of day number one of the playoffs or i mean it's a lot of choices <laughs> uh, and okay okay i'll take that i'll take that but i also take the fact that uh, this time around all 64 players in the lobby uh, for medical vibes they have a full squad this mm. time around so it's going to be a lot more exciting now that we have a, a more push here to watch mm -hmm. out for mm -hmm. and as we are watching out i am looking for uh, teams who probably might clash onto each other uh, so far lady is in pachinki two mm -hmm. different teams overlapping oh man okay pachinki pachinki is okay they're not here for today i think they're gonna be playing tomorrow but when i hear pachinki it's automatic it's gonna be the, the boys from d savior right so they're gonna be playing for tomorrow but look at the circle sir cloud i mean we've got the military base included so this is a, a promising match we do hope we see a military base finish once again ladies and gents but most of the teams are inside the main peninsula we can see ihc very close with stalwart esports vampire is also there within the proximity as well i believe that's jorga pool we also got a dewey united over to the west side of the map but uh there's uh like several teams already in the middle but when it comes to the first blood i believe it's jen foss from btr is currently knocked down at the moment yeah and eliminated by drs and Adit Luke is in trouble as well. But goes up, he does have a shot. That is the perfect weapon in such a close oh, quarters combat oh. situation. Managed to get the first down. And he does have his teammate together with him. So great rush together to secure. But they lost Jimmy in the process. Yeah, not a good start as well for the side of A15. I mean, nobody wants to start the, their game like this. But uh, heading back to DRS, okay, they didn't really have like a very good game number one right and now they're up against btr one of the formidable teams as well inside the clash of giants season four um btr i'm looking at the situation and i'm not quite sure if they still have a complete set of players but if they do then this is a fair fight but yeah both of the teams trying to get into position it's information gameplay at the moment they already have one elimination point so i do believe drs right now has the number advantage yeah, unfortunately, they don't have a full squad. One of them take out. And uh, now they will be going up against a DRS that has the full squad. Gen Force eliminated fairly early. And DRS have them surrounded, not let go just yet. So it could be a fight that they can avoid. And look over into Yasnaya Poliana. We have Team Flash here sharing the same area with another team. Yeah, one of the uh, big areas that we have in Wrangle, of course, we always see at least two to three teams drop in this specific area. I mean, there's also an abundance of loot there, so we do understand why they always choose to drop in this specific location, whether or not it is included in the fly path or not. But getting back to DRS once again, an early fight for this team. Uh, are they going to be lucky this time around? I mean, they didn't really have a good performance in uh, Sandhawk just a while ago, so I do hope they make up for that loss. But the good thing about DRS is that they already have that advantage, which is getting that one player from the opposition. So there is that little pressure from the side of Bigotron Red Aliens playing with just three of their members. Yeah, they're not in a hurry. I mean, they do have the circle, so they're fine. They can lock out uh, BTR and mm. wait for BTR to make those moves that uh, might put them in trouble.
So all DRS right now needs to do is just to hold their position. If they, if they want to like really close in on to BTR, yes, they can since they have the uh, number of players. But if they don't feel like doing that, then that's absolutely fine as well. Mm -hmm. Lapar, as you can see, holding a micro Uzi. Satar cooking up that nade. Okay, trying to uh, throw it up against the uh, posting team. We've got Sleepy on the screen right now. Also making a move very close to where Satar is. So... I do believe they're going in for a pinch. It's a 2v1 situation. Satar defending himself. Okay, he is right at the corner of that room. Uh, anticipating the attack coming from a BTR, but Sleepy very low on HP, but still managed to throw some massive spray. Ah. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Satar comes up on top. Wow, big comeback by BTR, but we're not over yet. As now we got killer here against Zuxi. One easy with Michael Uzi. Jump shot! Whoa! Wow! Zuxi! And that is why he's one of the most legendary players in the world of PUBG Mobile. Yes, of course. I mean, you don't want to mess with Zuxi, man. He has a mission, and that is to take you down. His eyes are definitely red at this moment because he is already kill hungry inside a battlefield. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, three elimination points for the side of BTR. I mean, it is not ideal for a team, uh, you know, to lose members at an early onset, but BTR just did a very wonderful job up against DRS, eliminating three of their players so we're talking about just xmpl with a dp28 in his hands but can he manage to defend himself now that he is all alone to deal with the rest of the gang mm, and then uh, go oh goku i know leo caught it by surprise by shamir is that counter back on the Olio? Olio down immediately and we got Ooh. two members of you allies taken out by Shamir. Back to back, just like that beautiful flick shown by him. Oh man, A51. Okay, trying to flex. And right now they're up against 52 esports this time. The fight is not over just yet, but one of them has been shut down. Uh, Rex is a little bit far away from the rest of the team, so that pickup is uh, going to be a little difficult. Now, Shamir, on the other hand, uh, manages to actually heal himself up just a bit right but looking at the situation Kansa is already out of the game one of them is still currently knocked down so there are only two active players left for a 51. also to point out that uh 52 used to be known as seventh element so Ooh. yeah so now rebranded to this current new name with a new player called shamir and so far he has been doing really well mm. goes up to the save picks up goku bot He's able to do it in time, but he can quick because Moth is the enemy coming in. Oh, oh. man, and coming off of the kill feed, Sir Cloud Hitman is already out of the game. So it looks like A1 just lost one of their members. Now, back to the action 52 Esports. Uh, we've got T24 right behind this big box over here. It's being actually targeted by two of the players this time they coming work. from Morph EX. But oh man, Zay is currently knocked down. T24 a little bit low on the HP, but I believe he has a little bit of time to uh, go for that quick heal up uh, because Morph GPX seems to be doing a little reset. But this is the perfect opportunity for him to actually charge and seal the deal. But can he make it up with a very low HP, Sir Cloud? Whoa! Zero came in. That's for the day! <laughs> came from nowhere. And guess who? It is her again. But now another team came by. Shame was taken out just like big new esports. Just had come in as the third party and now A15. We got Mukesh here all alone. Oh man. Oh, hey, Mukesh oh. back, but then in that position, it could be almost impossible for him to win. Yeah, it wasn't a very good angle to uh, begin with. I mean, he started from the low ground and uh, I mean, the, the chance of you actually pulling that off is... Uh, pretty low but getting back to btr it's uh sitar and zuxi this time so they're having the most number of kills for the team total of three elimination points but again the fight is not over just yet because we still have a team right or uh the xmpl from drs uh gaming rather and uh, i don't think he's going to be backing off at any time now but he he is not revealing his position just yet i mean that would be the smartest thing to do um 
Vampire Esports, okay, they are in conflict with another team. They haven't put any numbers yet onto the scoreboard, but I believe they are up against the ladies of uh, Stalwart Esports. Uh, uh, Stalwart Esports, Violet knocked down by Tony K with a nade. And caught out in the blue as well, so they're bleeding out this moment. Tony K has no first aid, so he has to win the fight. The Duka is just right below this this bridge. Mm. And the other side, Tony K has an idea, but does not have a good clear shot. Yeah, and uh, his health is actually cheaping away. So if he plans to actually shut down Stalwart uh, Ladies, he needs to do it. Uh, almost immediately now we've got nukes from devil united okay that is a good shot right there putting down sonics on the ground six feet under um and now he has uh, a point under his uh, belt but the rest of the fam i believe is uh, a bit far away now stalwart esports is getting punished this time sir cloud and it looks like vampire now was able to eliminate three of the ladies and so, uh, unfortunately for Starward uh, girls, from dinner to now only one player left, and Liu managed to get away with four first eight. So, he's able to tank out the blue for now. But the uh, bigger question is that how many more points she collect now that she's the only player left? She can only go for placement points instead of trying to fight. Yeah, she just needs to uh, choose a safe spot for her to, to chill, right? And just make sure that she gets to the last few zones of the game, you know, just to make sure she collects those uh, placement points that she needs to at least continue on to the good fight that they've managed to pull off during first match of, uh, of the game. I mean, it's pretty hard to go up against the likes of Tony K, right? And uh, the, the whole Vampire Esports. So it's, uh, I, 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 it's still a good performance for me, you know. You guys, I mean, from Stalwart Esports, still did a pretty good job. Now, um, checking out T2K, uh, I believe they are at the edge of the circle. We've got Suyog right here uh, scouting the place. There is a team, though, that might do a little bit of the gatekeeping. Um, but T2K, they know the drill. They know what to do. And probably they are now communicating on how to approach this one. But not a good spot for Ignis to actually be caught sleeping there but Quan getting some damage as well and that was a good spot or good spot from Escalera oh but the fight's not over yet T2K we got Su Young here still on top of this hill a buggy's under him he sees it up and pulls out the DBS instead and going up against Ooh. those for Team Flash but the moment he's out Batman will make sure the detective of the night led support by Su Young to survive and man get knocked out for himself and now he seems to be in trouble they're gonna rush in on the batman oh, no. batman 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 well looks like the cape crusader did not make it this time now we still got igneous coming from t2k is currently knocked down but they did manage to put a four elimination point to the board the tony k using a scarlight oh he finds Liu, the last remaining player coming from Stalwart Esports, and now they are on a car chase. So this is some Fast and Furious kind of thing. Oh, here we go. Tony K on the chase. Now the big And he managed to get it. The end here. Stalwart girls eliminated by Vampire Esports. Oh man, Tony K, if you like, you're not getting away. You are not escaping your fate. And uh, I guess, you know, he, he puts that last player come from Stalwart Esports six feet under this time. Uh, okay, 10 teams remaining. Uh, we are already at stage three with 44 seconds on the clock before we move into the next zone. It's a reef. Us this time come from four miracle vibes is currently knocked down five elimination points goes to uh pygmy this time so currently they are on the rampage oh yeah thank goodness big me after a okay round previously this time around it doing very well so far uh, i actually did very well the first round now going up against vampire no! esports a formidable foe nice low range oh my god less than knock down tony k yeah, Tony K a little bit slow on the triggers there. Um, uh, okay, here we go. So we can see Godless uh, going for the third. Vampire
Rampart Esports member because he managed to actually shut down not just one but two players coming from VPE. So that is outstanding. Um, circle time. Pachinki is already out of the zone, right? With Cogdale United coming from down south for MV has just taken control of that prime location right there. That's one compound inside of the uh, safe zone. That is a good location. Now Shrub taking in wow. some damage. Now he is on the ground. That is courtesy of Jaw of IHC. Man, uh, Shrub's no way for him to save. That pack was only one last player. And I must say, the position of IAC in this circle is amazing. Look at this position. They can overlook teams taking locations around them. And also, mm. confirmation now, Godless will take the point out of Schwepp. Man, a stake through the heart for uh, Schwepp's right there coming from Joel. Now, Vampire Esports Stage 4 inside Irangle. Our first Irangle, by the way, for this evening. Uh, now playing with just one player left, ladies and gents. Uh, it's a, it's a tough, you know, set of matches for Vampire. I mean, first one, they got an early elimination, and right now, stage four, they lost all of their three members. So, it's a, it's a difficult, perhaps, uh, stage uh, for Clash of Giants. But again, this is just day number one, and this is just the second game for this evening, and it's just like taking your girlfriend out for dinner right i mean if it's your first time to go on a date this is the time that you get yourselves acquainted with each other so it kind of feels like that sir cloud what do you think <laughs> yeah I, I think i think that is a good way to put it right so uh, they do have like three days worth of games to play and as base um uh, as compared to like the uh, qualifier stage it is not as brutal we'll be only eliminating the bottom four so with uh Three days war games, I mean, mm. comeback is real, they say. Yeah, I mean, don't even think about looting that red crate there. <laughs> it's, a, it's a trap, okay, that you you don't want to be in. BTR, again, Lapar, Genfaz already out of the game. It's just the tandem of uh, Satar and uh, Zuxseed this time. Um, uh, checking out uh, Pygmy, five elimination points for the team. They're currently dominating. Sinister, on the other hand, oh my goodness, he is on the ground, uh, bleeding. Rowdy, of course, trying his best to uh, make it happen for the team. But we've got Abby Manu, right, cooking up a nade. And just make sure that, you know, it's going to be hard for the rest of A1 to survive. Oh, man, there you go. A1, unfortunately, for the fans out there. They have just been eliminated. Uh, come back stronger, they say, for A1 Esports. Anyway, they managed to collect 12 points from the previous round, so they are still pretty okay there. But uh, just to be sure, of course, you always want to collect more since we are still fairly early this game. Now, look at four medical vibes. We got Doc here, and right by us, Pygmy, a team that uh, I don't know if really well, but now good four medical vibes. They seem to be struggling. Oh man, Doc, one of my favorite players right here, cooking up that nade real good. Oh man, okay, that was on point, that was on point. He did inflict damage though, and it's a huge one. Now here comes the second nade, can he be accurate this time? Okay, completely missed his target, but this is the right opportunity for him to actually charge and get the kill with a UMP. So that is a good move right there. Good execution coming from Doc, and another one. He gets a two-piece kill this time. Oh, here we go. Looking for more right now. But at the same time, the circle moved away. Now, since we're at this stage, I would expect that four medical vibes to get together. Because right now, they have one, one split. It's not even a two, two split. It's a one, one split. So, no way can uh, get knocked. If they get knocked, then that's pretty much it. Yeah, and, uh, you know, when you are as great as Four Miracle Vibes, you need to be able to carry yourself. I mean, that is one of, I guess, the factors, right, in be being a very good team is you know how to carry yourself. If you know how to take care of yourself inside the battlefield, then that's one thing off the list that you need to worry about. Now, getting back to T2K, five elimination points, right? So far, so good. We've got Rose again here trying to do a massive spray up against BTR. BTR obviously in big trouble. And that's it, ladies and gents, for BTR. They are now eliminated. Now we're down to seven teams remaining. Stage five with a minute and 52 seconds on the clock.
Yeah, and look who's uh, still up there. 2K and IHC. Both of those two with the full squad with the long liberation, especially T2K. Seven liberations in the pocket. And now we got Pick Me now on Dock and Dock all the way across this hill. And mm -hmm. uh, Yaoi gets as close as possible, but Smoke is blinding him. And now we got oh, man. 6663, whoever is playing for Vampire. Oh, Oh man, okay, this is not looking too good for the last vampire here, okay. Um, he is on the low ground, and IHC, <laughs> and again, one of the tough teams, right inside the Clash of Giants Season 4, and I don't see uh, a bright future for this last remaining player coming from Vampire Esports. I mean, he is getting a lot of bombs right there, and also Alex holding up his gun. Oh man, this is not... I, I I don't I don't really see him surviving this, but oh, Isaiah coming from Geek just got shut down. A sixty-six or six 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 three has a little bit time uh, to heal himself up. I'm I I don't mm. believe like IG Esports gonna let go of this one just like that. Vampire Esports stage number five has just been eliminated. Now we're down to just five teams remaining with Dewa United, you know, at the top of the chicken dinner list here. Yeah, and he managed to get knocked down onto one member. See, Godless! Now by Escalera, all the way from downtown. Ixnias now spots the rotation from Zul. Tries to get in even further by Godless Knock. So, what will Zul do right now? He has no chance for to try to win the fight. Now on the left side, spot on as well. Ignis will try to take down the last member. Geek Fam and Damrood eliminated. Oh man, good the trade offs coming from T2K and Geek right there. I mean, distance right now joe coming from ihc man another wonderful shot right there putting rolls to sleep oh my goodness nine elimination points coming from trade to kill the assassins inside the battlefield now we've got baby iron on the ground as well devil united is in big uh, trouble oh man unfortunately for the side of four miracle vibes doc one of their best fraggers is on the ground as well here we go, they were united. No sir do have this combo, but they have to move forward. And now arrow look! That's coming from the other oh! side. Arrow knocked down, eliminated just like that. And looks managed to survive. You'll have time to heal up. He did play uh, a ring around the rosy right there, but at the end he was able to get that shot done. T2K versus they were united, the final two teams for uh, match number two of this evening our first irangle ladies and gents stage six right we've got suyok i believe this is a, a good spot right here a uh, high ground advantage and the good thing about is i mean in this situation that he has a car so good for mobility but number advantage i believe goes to dewa united sir Bob. oh yeah they were united and they do have a car but they're on the lower ground hmm. and t2k they have to circle they were united they don't Snowboy is making his move, but we can see how Su Young holding down his line, trying to stop Dewa United from getting into the circle. But because Su Young, he knows, okay, he's all alone, not in a good position, decides mm. to retreat back instead. Yeah, Dewa United, they are on a 2 2 split and they are headed to another location. They do know that T2K has the higher ground, so I believe that's exactly what they want to do is just really go higher this time and go in for the pinch just really put them at a disadvantage so let's see if they can actually pull that off i mean it is possible since uh they have the firepower right they have the number advantage as well now snowboy oh, with a kill using his buggy just made a pancake out of him oh no boy oh here we go snowboy counter by ignia they were united you got a couple of players still alive akra gets another knockdown oh. They have a huge, huge advantage. This could be their game. And as Suyo can come up with a big clutch against the three members of Dewa United. Baby Aya oh. goes up to the high ground. And he tries to play on the same even ground as Suyo. Oh, as no, no. coming from the other side. Suyo pinned down behind the tree. Nowhere to go. The name will be set across by Suyo. So he made it. Tries to fight back. Nice. And he will get a knockdown on the right side. They are ready for him. That is a worthwhile trade-off. And... Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Today we're united. Woo. Oh man, still a very good try, you know, for the side of T2K Sir Cloud. They did not make that easy for the boys of Dewa United. And Dewa United, I mean, they all have the advantage, right? They 
They have the firepower, they are a complete set of players, and all they need to do is just really execute the plan really, really well. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we've got the uh, first winner in the chicken dinner onto the side of Dewa United. And uh, as we look at the stats right here, we've got Nukes with uh, a total of six elimination points, followed by Snowboy with three. We've got Arkra with one. And uh, Baby Iron here with uh, a total of 93 damage output. They were united and they got a lot of issues in the process. Uh, when you talk about damage taken, everyone took their part to tank up a little mm. bit of damage uh, between the four players of Dewa United. But what was great of gameplay is that the follow-up, if anyone gets knocked just like what we see the knock-ups yeah. here, then uh, there will be always a follow-up of Dewa United. That is one of the secret to success of maintaining all four of their team members towards the end. Yeah, quick response, you know, for uh, for the team. And there's just really too many ingredients to be cooking the uh, perfect winner winner chicken dinner. You just really have to be with your boys, with your homies for a very long time to really cook up a very good um, chemistry, you know, synchronicity and everything else in between. And uh, both the teams right here, uh, we know that they have been together for many, many years. Now, let's talk about teams to watch in a wrangle. Obviously, it's Devil United. We also got T2K. We got IHC. And this is, uh, you know, is making me happy as well, Sir Klaus. The fact that Pigmy, you know, they're starting off really, really strong in this competition. But again, it's it's still too early to say if they can maintain this kind of pace. As you all know, it can be exhausting. But again, we are looking out for that consistency. Everyone else is really stepping up their gameplay. And this is the kind of gameplay that we would want to watch. Yeah, and speaking about gameplay that you guys would want to watch is from Nooks as our MVP this round from Dewa United with 6 eliminations, 896 damage. Other than that, this is why he is the top of all on this stats. By following him behind, it's going to be top from 4 medical fights. And then we have Alera with D2K and we got the OG player, Boos, who's the IGL <laughs> now for D2K. Yeah, and just let's give a, a spotlight to uh, Doc of 4 Miracle Vibes as well. The team contribution, it's 100%, a full-blown 100% right there. He is the only one that actually got some kills under his belt. But when it comes to a Battle Royale, it's always the dream work that makes the team work, right? So match ranking, everyone. Devil United getting the winner with the chicken dinner, scoring a total of 20 points for the second match this evening, followed by T2K with 15. So these are the two teams that actually caused the double-digit score. As for the teams at the bottom, it's the ladies and the A1 TMT. Yeah, I mean, um, it is still early for these teams, including everyone's favorite team here, A1. Yeah, but the looking over the match stats up, hmm. Throwable juice obviously higher than the Sandhawk round. Because it's all on that naturally, uh, you will have less opportunity to use the throw balls. But other than that, coming to a bigger map, we have time, or the players have time, to loot three add-ons. Yeah, I mean, we do really expect uh, the uh, number for the throw balls to actually go up, you know, as we head towards the end of the matches for this evening. I mean, this uh, this remains to be a meta, but overall ranking, this is uh, one of the things that you guys are actually uh, waiting for. T2K Esports is currently at the top spot with 28. They were united. We got IHC as well. SDE Girls and 4 Miracle Vibes as your top five teams for this evening. Yes, and uh, we are looking for the top 12, ladies and gentlemen, overall. But the uh, champion of uh, this stage will move straight on to the Grand Finals. Now on page number 2, we got some familiar names who I'm sure the fans would not be pleased to see being on page number 200, Aliens. At number 9, now with 9 points. But then again, they are a team that uh, known to make big comebacks to the end. So we have seen that before as well for, for the previous season. Expect bigger things to come from bigger. Ooh, now that you mentioned it, of course, you know, the fans will definitely look forward to that one, Sir Cloud. And uh, you know what? We did talk about, you know, um, BTR having like sort of a, a POV, right? A dedicated stream just for them. 
Um, just to let you guys know, we also have that kind of setup for DRS. So uh, just look for the link down below. I believe it's right down there somewhere, right? But we're going to talk more of the action or like what just happened during match one and ma match number two as soon as we go uh, come back. So don't go away, ladies and gents. Stay right here. And go in this, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Clash of Giants Season 4. We are your casters for today. Why do we circle up together with the very hot, literally hot right now, Red Queen? <laughs> yeah, you know what, Circla? I gotta keep myself hydrated. You know, it's it's not only hot here. Again, back in the real world, it's really hot. But all of the action that is currently happening right now. And we're just... You know, done with two matches for this evening. And uh, man, the action, the battles, the clutch moves has been very awesome. 
Absolutely. I mean, uh, we've seen uh, results that uh, may surprise us, and uh, that's what we really, really like. Right? We love surprises. We love all these uh, amazing gameplay shown by these players. But it is only two rounds to today's game. So maybe some of these teams are still warming up. Next round, we might see a bit uh, a performance from some of the other teams. But now, speaking about performances, we have to put it our prediction. Okay, I think I'm gonna start first. Um, I do believe this team, you know, they've had a couple of bad matches, so it is time for them to uh, rock and roll, you know, like uh, really hit that thunder right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock in Vampire this time. I think Tony K is, uh, you know, has a trick up his sleeves this time. That is a, that's a hot one, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Okay. Ooh. Oh man, this gives me a headache all the time. Okay, man, I <laughs> would say, um, oh man, this. Alright. Oh man, this torture. Okay, let's have it. Um, let's go. T2K. Boom, 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 boom. I wonder what, what prediction or which of the team's production is going to pick. A oh. Okay. Qualifier hmm. champion. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And again, this is the first time for Red Wing Gaming to uh, see A51 really play in Clash of Giants Season 4. So as for the kind of gameplay that they have, they're pretty strong, pretty aggressive. They're not shy and engaging inside the battlefield. But we are talking about a stack lobby this time, right? And, uh, I mean, who doesn't love a good, you know, like a, a dark horse story, right? Because nobody wants to hear the term underdog, right? So we're going to use the term dark horse, right? But A51 going up against, like, you know, the likes of IHC, Vampire, DRS, and the rest of the, you know, like, formidable, te formidable teams that we have in Clash of Giants Season 4. I would love for them to really show us what they got. Absolutely. Uh, well, one reason is because of uh, we only have three days. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of games. If we kind of like bundle it all up, there's like eight games. But if you kind of think about it, now we're already 15 more games. So yeah. including the next round. So games will go by really, really fast. So teams can let like, go off the, yeah. uh, of the pedal here. As we head <laughs> on to our next. Rango. This could be our second Rango for today, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we did mention uh, just a while ago, right, that um, I believe that you don't want to be too predictable when it comes to like playing all of the games. I, I know you guys have played these games a million times over, right? You've, you guys have been through a lot of competitions, a lot of tournaments bigger than uh, Clash of Giants Season 4. But uh, day number one is, again, uh, used for like warming up like testing the op uh, opponent uh, pushing your limits breaking your boundaries but come day number two you'll have a chance to go over the first broadcast of the tournament right where you have a chance to review what went wrong inside a battlefield or what you could have done right instead and the kind of rotation the teams has to offer right, inside any map so it's going to be an in interesting day number two so you don't want to miss it's on that one. Mm, yeah, you, you really don't want to, right? So you gotta take every game to heart now. And we can see that some of the teams like stepping it up as compared to game one and game two. For example, like a uh, Vampire Esports is an improvement for them mm. and to be game two. So maybe game three, this is where we'll really see them doing doing the that we know that they're capable of doing. Um, mm -hmm. And also some of the early class probably didn't help some of the team too. Um, earlier on. What? So with this win, maybe you might see a change of drop spot, but no change here for DRS. Two members locked down immediately, this time by Picatron Red Alien. And again, we're going to go back to uh, 
our first admission right before you jump off the plane is just how good you are at making sure the accuracy of your jumps distance, right? You need to get to the weapons first. But if your opponent, I mean, if they're the first one to get to the guns first, then you are in a world of trouble. And that's exactly what is happening right now with uh, DRS, I believe. Now, onto the side of A51 versus Udo Alliance. Oh, Leo manages to pull off a kill i believe he already has one under his belt and right now he's gunning for wow. two and yes he puts down mukesh on the ground with a ump uh, and now with m16 he will finish up mukesh and then jimmy who was knocked Olio will be there to save him there another member from a51 who's on the other side the other building and there, here we go kanza here and uh, Rex is nowhere to be found, so being all alone, I don't think he'll engage. Mm, yeah, but okay. So let's just uh, give the uh, a little bit of good news for the side of A51. For Kansa, he has uh, an M416. Okay, not a gun to be messed with. I still believe that one. But let's see if he can actually use that one to defend himself. That I mean, with what you said, Sir Cloud, he is all alone, right? So it's going to be difficult to uh, to win over that clash just in case they proceed with the kill. Now, here comes Ali. Okay, here comes the spray. But we're talking about like a, a handgun right here. Kansas still on prone right behind that concrete wall. But Olio is on the ground same thing with flax so this is a very complicated situation between these two teams man oh yeah it absolutely is <laughs> and uh it does look like oh! come back oh my goodness beautiful support fire by rex but rex got knocked down instead now kansa to win the fight all alone m4 on one hand shotgun on the other he must get this Ooh. knock and now, oh! looks like Jimmy OP will not miss his shot, being the savior of Udo Alliance. Yeah, don't disturb me when I'm picking up my uh, my comrade right here. Jimmy OP. OP with that shot. Oh my goodness. That was uh, that was a beautifully uh, executed elimination right there. Um, uh, Bigots or Red Villains? Okay, two elimination points. So far, so good. Um, I don't see any problem right here as for now. Besides the fact that they still need to finish off two of the remaining uh, players, right? Members of uh, DRS. But... It does seem to me that they haven't figured out the exact location of uh, of Sleepy, or do they? Mm. It looks like they do. They have. They're, they're aiming towards Sleepy now, and Sleepy is prepping up his own nades. So the gap in them. When is uh, BTR going to execute this? Now, if we look at the uh, this between them and the circle, it's about 1,500 meters away. So they're quite far from the safe zone. BTR has to execute this quick. Mm -hmm. And now they are rotating. Okay, going on, I, I believe, the far right here. Um, but there is another team that seems to be lurking around the area as well. Uh, I do believe those are teams coming from uh, 52. Okay, the former 7th element. Now, here comes Sleepy anticipating the attack coming from Bikachu Red. Alien Satar heading the uh, charge with a UMP. It's a 2v1 situation, ladies and gents. And Sleepy is now on the ground. So, quick slumber right there. Oh, oh uh, BTR now. Almost eliminating the entire squad of DRS Gaming. Regante alone now. Gen Force on the left side. Position compromised. One nade sent on the floor. And uh, Lapa almost got it, but they know exactly where Gante is. At. There's no way for him to escape now. Yeah, I mean, you just have to uh, fight BTR head on at this point. I mean, Yante is just really doing his best to survive, but a nade. Okay, there seems to be a light of hope, you know, for Yante to survive, especially that he has a DPS. Unfortunately, it's a 2v1 situation and just too much fire power for one person to handle. So we've got Satar right here picking up his teammate. BTR survives the clash. Well, we got 52 E for our money situation, but now we move over to Team Flash with Kwang. Knocking out one more big me. 
And now Conti comes in onto the other side. The other members are big me. He leaves this area. Dobrynki managed to get away. By still being way down from afar. While Yawiko so tries to fight back the team flash. But it's more of giving cover fire to his teammates to exit. Okay, um, uh, Pygmy started off really, really, really strong. Now they're down to just two players, still has nothing onto the scoreboard, so it's going to be difficult for them to match the kind of energy that they showed us just a while ago. But I do hope that they get to the last stages of the game and still, you know, try to uh, get some elimination points. You know that it's not always easy getting those elimination points, so I do hope that they pick, you know, uh, smart battles for them to uh, assure that they're going to survive and get to the last few zones for this match in a wrangle. Now they are on the move, probably heading on to another location to uh, either replenish their stocks or like uh, maybe chill for just a while. But for the side of Team Flash, um, I'm getting the hint we're in Team Flash. They're trying to predict where Pygmy is actually going and my finish the job because i mean those are elimination points right and you want to be aggressive um at, at early oh, on to this oh, match oh wow. nice spray onto lapa knocking that lapa didn't know that alia was behind and now zaxi is caught out as well lapa oh man i don't know how zaxi is gonna go and save him and the blue is really not helping at all because he here zaxi does not have any first aids goku comes in Zaxi preps his neck. He knows that Goku is in this one direction. And the name is Zaxi! Knock that Goku bot! Oh, that's uh, one Kamehami way that he wasn't able to handle. <laughs> I mean, it went straight to his face. Okay, you got Shamir getting ready to attack up against BTR with a DBS. Okay, he kind of hesitated there. Don't exactly know why. Probably waiting for a little backup, but this is a 2v1 situation, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Saxi on the screen, and oh. Shamir goes down. BTR coming back, and Zaxi. Has Aliyah to deal with all the way across this hill. Aliyah keeping an eye, but uh, there's no way that Aliyah can land that shot. Aliyah grabs his vehicle. He might retreat or is he going to go in for it? Keep an eye on Aliyah. He is going in for it. <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely. Now, it's a 3v4 situation. Alien is just, uh, you know, trying to uh, apply a little bit of uh, pressure for the side of BTR, but he is cooking up that nade. I mean, they are all together in just one place, so you would want to capitalize on that opportunity. Um, we've got Lapar still on the ground. Zuxi with a very low HP. Um, and Alien, man, I mean... Uh, I believe he's not letting this one go. He's not backing away from the situation. And just look at that. T24 is also on the move to go to another angle this time. Oh, Ooh. what a nice shot. Oh, man, with a UMP nonetheless. With that angle oh. and that distance, Sir Cloud, that was wonderful. That was amazing. Yes. Oh! Megatron Red M will not go down without a fight now. T24 has to come in. T24, 50% of the whole first ace. The blue is chopping itself out. And now, spray T-34. T-34 takes a bit of damage here. 20% oh. of health. I mean, this is it. This is it, Red Queen. This is yeah. it. It's just a matter of who eliminates who at this point. Yeah. Yo! <laughs> oh, wow. I'll just look at that. Satar. Uh, extremely mad, right? Because I don't think he has enough loot, uh, you know, inside his bag um to uh to apply for the rest of the team but it's a good thing they won the fight so i guess he can rest easy for now uh, but unfortunately for the side of uh t24 um or like 52 uh, that is the end of the line at least for this match you know so i mean you guys can take it easy for the fans out there it's okay <laughs> i mean um it's just day number two uh, day number one of the playoffs so it's okay. Morph GPX on the screen. One elimination point. We're down to 13 teams. And coming off of the kill feed, it's Joel this time of IHC. He is on the on his knees at the moment. But we're going to check out what happened in just a while. As soon as we uh, see what happens between Morph GPX and uh, Pygmy. Is uh, he the last player remaining? Uh, looking yes. at it, yes, he is. Joe Brinky is the last guy. 
Uh, so it's not great news the fact that he had to face off against all players from Mob GPX. Now stage two, moving to stage three. They step the circle inside of the water house and it is somewhere in the middle of the circle. But it seems like Mob GPX does not know that Jobrenki is there. Mm hmm exactly. And if we're going to be looking at the situation, Sir Cloud, I mean, that bridge is going to be busy, right? That one on the northern side, I mean, vampires, well, as stalwart esports, the ladies, right, might clash with the boys of uh, T2K. A lot of gatekeeping opportunities here, especially for Morph GPX. I mean, there are two teams, or make that three teams, uh, probably headed towards the their direction. So, I mean, potential kill points for, for Morph GPX. Yeah, but if only they can land those shots. But look at this, right? Another team has a... So, I guess everyone's like really, really cautious of each other. And knowing that uh, teams are starting to stack up in that area. But the uh, Vampire Esports, Tony K knocked down somewhere else. It's going to be a kind of into the circle. Now we do have to man! We don't want to take down... 6663, who is for Vampire Esports? Oh, okay, I'm checking out Vampire Esports. Oh, they still don't have any scores and they're down to just two players. So, again, not a wonderful start, you know, for the side of Vampire Esports. Uh, let's see how far they can last for, for this match alone. Now, Suyog, on the other hand, that was a good. Uh, a uh, counter-attack coming from Shreps of Vampire. Now we've got Rules trying to dance with the devil. Uh, unfortunately, he is on the ground this time. Courtesy, I believe, of Escalera of T2K. Man, this Escalera guy is, knows how to escalate Whoa. things. Wow, and look at that. Escalated to the point that Vampire Esports eliminated. T2K, though they do your but Rules will be able to, see, to be saved by Escalera. And they already got four elimination points opening up their account uh, this round. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, Escalera, did he change his IGN? Is he known uh, with another name? Uh, did he have a former name? I mean, this guy is pretty aggressive and pretty on point with all of his uh, eliminations. Now, uh, checking out A1 Esports, A1 TMT Esports. Okay, good thing about it is they're still complete. Okay. Potential clash up against Morph GPX. Okay. As you can see on the screen, we've got Rowdy just gathering information and reporting back to the rest of the team. But in terms of like how they're going to be approaching this one, we still don't know exactly what they want to do at this point. But they're all in just one position. Now, we're, we still don't know yet if Morph GPX is also aware of the fact that, you know, there is a team lurking uh, around the area. Speaking about area, which area will the circle go? And T2K is up north, Ooh. but they still have part of the circle up there. So T2K can still time. I'll be a little bit more worried for the teams on the right side of the circle. Now we've got Team Flash, BTR, and Yudo Alliance there. And they're heading towards the area where Mobiax, A1, and Jobrinki is at. Yeah, massive cleanup right before uh, they head on to the... Uh the safe zone i mean there's just too much uh, potential fights that can happen around down south and east side of irango um from the kill feed it's violet of stored esports has been knocked down and uh they're up against uh Joel, but they were united is also within proximity now we've got death storm on your screen Unleashing Havoc up against uh, team flash and uh oh team flash that is not one of the best spots, you know, that I would want to be in right at this moment. I mean, they are pretty sandwiched. Yeah, look at this. Like, so many colors on the minimap. And if the circle ship, because we're only at stage four, we still got stage five to go. Circle ships away then. Don't know how these teams are going to manage this. It's going to be real hard. What we would be in their position when that happens. Now, for Batman, unfortunately, got get out by Dewa United. So that's going to be Dewa United opening up their account. Seems like they got him behind looking at the position of Team Flash. Mm hmm. Um, if we're going to be looking at the situation, right, we've got three teams on your screen. Dewa United, they're in a 2 2 split. Um, Nukes, uh, as well as No Boy, you all know the, uh, the site. 
right? That they can see. And this is a, a fairly good location, high ground. Um, they have the opportunity to, sh to just like join into the mix and do the third party thing, you know, uh, if uh, they can be patient. But before we head on to that one, let's go back to Bigger Red Aliens as they go up against Morph GPX. We can see a lot of uh, nades being popped off. Um, we've got a one player le left onto the side of BTR, if I'm not mistaken, Sir Cloud. Oh, yeah, only one active player left, and Morph G wants to wipe him out and now Zay has the information he knows that he's not all comes in with BTS on the other side La Pod Nade and now by Zero that is the end or oh, BTR A the elimination points now A1 DMT wants to get some of that Ooh, okay, here we go. Hitman just being the awesomest Hitman there is was able to shut down a one player. He went in for the two, but he did give, uh, you know, like a huge damage, but wasn't able to actually shut down that player. But the good thing is that A1 is still doing a good job and they have the opportunity this time to wipe out the entire uh, Morph GPX from this clash. As you can see, Sinister is uh, popping off smokes, I believe, right, to... Uh, cross this safely to challenge the boys of morph gpx and now he is cooking up that nade really good but can he take down that oh. player boom oh not enough sir cloud not enough to shut him down oh man red queen that was so close as sinister he knows that he didn't get that elimination on that no but didn't know that uh that nade did connect but circle time, and we will see here where ruins is that. But now focusing back onto A1 TMT Sinister. And four in hand gets closer and closer. His other teammates going to come in from the other side. They're going to go into the right now. Infiltration at this best. Sinister. Prepare to go up to the second floor. Moose healing up. Moose off. Let's get his health up back onto 80%. But then, well, again, A1 TMT is prepared to take him down. Man, oh man, I mean, A1 is banging on their chest right now. I mean, they're really, really flexing their muscles for for this uh, day number one of the playoffs. I do love the energy. Um, uh, A1 seems to um, have a, a goal, have a, a mission, you know, for, for day one of the playoffs, and that is to actually top the charts they have been aggressive from the get-go and again i'm just looking for consistency here guys i'm just looking for consistency and i know all of the fans out there making a lot of noise for hitman and sinister i mean the way that they put down morph gpx was just brutal man uh, morph gpx elimination points for them and so far only seven points i mean morph gps they had an overhaul as well with their lineup uh, no Yoru, no Boboku, the squad during the transfer window. So this revamp squad probably needs to find the right chemistry oh, between all of them. But for Gig Fam, sticking with the same lineup, we'll lose that Captain Diamond for medical vibes. Here we go, Arrow. Again, pulls out this M416. A four miracle vibes just actually eliminated a couple of players there from, from that clash. Okay, from Geek Fam, I believe. Down to nine teams remaining. Stage five with a minute and uh, 24 seconds on the clock. Hitman is on the ground, bleeding out there in the open. Pickup is going to be impossible at this point, but Rowley seems to be on a mission to help his teammate here. So, oh. yeah, no one survives if my teammate has just been uh, shut down. But no! Looks on the other hand with a DP28. Okay, tried to do a massive spray. Unfortunately, it did not hit his target. But Quan coming from Team Flash having an exchange of nades. But oh. <laughs> he was the one who caught that one real hard. Audrey, the man of Geek Fam. Look at him. Four eliminations. All the eliminations for Geek Fam is by Audrey. Man, we carrying Geek Fam this round so far. Looking for one more point, at least 10 points by the end of this round. And now put a focus on the Dewey United. We got Accra here on this high ground, the area of ruins. IHC came in as well. STE girls still in this with three players looking at baggage teams that are across them. Hmm, I want to see, you know, a little bit of teeth coming from the ladies of Stalwart Esports. I mean, so far, the uh, gameplay I'm seeing from them is that 
they prioritize placement points. But you all know this game is skill centric, right? You need those extra elimination points just to make sure that you stay at the top or like the first half of the overall rankings. And it's Ooh. just so amazing, right? They're very good with their. I guess circle prediction, the way that they choose their location inside the safe zone is um, okay as well. Now, we just want this ladies to score some points. But in, in, in this situation, they're right down there in the middle. I do hope that they can um, defend this compound. And the good news for Starwood girls is that uh, now they're in the top eight, so they have to bring in placement points as well. And they do have the circle still. T2K, how it needs to navigate at this uh, edge of this uh, river. Should be okay looking at how the terrain is. But for Geek Fam on the outside of the circle now, you have A1 to deal with with four medical vibes on the other side. I, Zayn, goes down. Uh, coming from Dewa United. Snow Boy with point. Alex of ICE Sports uh, keeping or holding off this vantage. Right here, we've got Rowdy coming from A1, cooking up that nade, throwing up against four. Miracle Vibes was able to put huge damage up against Arrow. We've got Death Storm on the ground, on his knees, oh. bleeding out there somewhere. But Rowdy, Rowdy right now is uh, extremely busy, right? Dealing with the rest of four Miracle Vibes. Now, Baron is uh, no! also taking some damage right from behind. But that was a good nade coming from Dewa United. Yeah, it was actually they were united and not four medical vibes and now they were united the five elimination points gonna put focus on the four medical vibes now who also has five elimination as well arrow has been picked up and now four medical vibes they're on the outside of the circle so advantage is towards their opponent while gig fam is kind of on the other side audrey there one of the members of gig fam currently down so four medical vibes only need to focus on the they were united Yes, sir. Here we go. Six teams remaining. All right. Um, I believe majority of the uh, teams is... Uh, okay, so it, we've got three teams onto the uh, west side. We've got three teams down south. Now, IHC versus the girls this time. Now, IHC is just really throwing a lot of nades, trying to flush out the ladies from uh, from this house. Now, Rogues, Joel, as well as Alice. Look at them all holding the bombs right now we've got stalwart esports trying to dodge all of the attacks but you man getting some damage right there very low in hp duke as well oh, oh man it seems to me that at least two teams are targeting the ladies here oh and uh, alex knocked down and the rope here rope on the inside of the building trying to find a member of stalwart the ladies Star with oh. girls unfortunately eliminated was not able to defend their compound e2k monitoring the situation now it's their turn to execute yeah five teams are remaining guys towards again got eliminated with one elimination point uh, but they did manage to get up until stage number six uh, for for this match i do hope they do better come back strong right for the next rounds to come now Final four, ladies and gents, as Geek Fam, Geek Fam has just been eliminated. Now we've got Escalator on your screen. Currently, he has the most a number of elimination points for the team. So again, very aggressive, uh, this particular player. Now, Nukes from Dewa United cooking up that nade. Um, he knows exactly where to throw the nades, right? But he couldn't give an accurate one just yet. I mean, all of the members of Four Miracle Vibes still walking and uh, trying to do a massive counter up against their remaining opponents oh they were united and four medical vibes here we go as they were united still a full squad baron is kind of low nooks tried to spray onto the metal four medical vibes and ruffles goes down to snow boy snow boy takes out arrow as well from behind oh boy coming in trying to find a few find a few members of four medical vibes Four to go they will circle around the tree Woo! they will find him he has nowhere to go they were united! Rampage wow. against oh, Miracle Vibes! Man, they were united. They are on a roll right now. They are on frenzy. Killing streak, everyone. They were united seems to uh, really, really would want to win this uh, match right here. Um, aggressiveness is there, but uh, it seems like rules, uh, you know, with the all of the hit happening, Inside Irangul has uh, taken some break and just decided to swim. We just don't know what's going to happen. But yeah, Devil United having the best advantage so far getting that chicken dinner. But IHC 
on your screen right now, we've got Alex uh, holding a UMP. We've got Jean on the rooftop, okay? Just trying to keep an eye on the boys of T2K. Yeah, and TK, one of the players in the water that's going to be rules, okay, managed to himself. But IHC on the other side, they're going to chill right now up on the perch. So T2K, mm. I would say that circle wise, they have the best of our stage 8 circle. So let's also remember oh. that there's the lady, they were united by still get it, and if they do, they're going to get a big advantage. Honestly, it's gonna be hard for Gala United. I mean, it seems to be that T2K and as well as uh, IHC all have their guns pointed at them, right? So they are pretty sandwiched in between these two teams. So it's gonna be hard to maintain, you know, like just keeping an eye on both the teams here because, um, I mean, looking at the situation, uh, IHC as well as T2K, they have their eyes really uh locked onto Devil United. Yeah, so I see looking at Devil they were United, looking at T2K, T2K looking at Dewa United. Meaning that if we can't do the math, lesser teams are looking at IEC. Now they do have somewhere out of the circle. United has a circle as well. But for T2K, there are a couple of members on the outside of our rules is within the circle. But yeah. he's in a position that is kind of difficult to do much. Um, I'm checking out their throwballs. Everyone seems to be a little low on stock, but okay, just look at Nooks here from Devil United. I know he knows where Igneous is at this point, so he's just waiting, you know, for Igneous to actually commit a mistake here. And the moment that he does, he's definitely going to be capitalizing on that one. Now we can see Alex, right, uh, trying to do a massive spray up against Igneous. Igneous, I mean. Good luck to you, brother. I mean, the moment that you show your head, it's going to be popped. Got to be careful there, oh, especially rules as well. To be careful to Snowboy. Snowboy knows that he's there. They're trying to exchange names. Oh! Snowboy 40% on health thanks to rules. If he can land a second one, he'll be able to knock down Snowboy. But now HC is on to Dayway United. One of the players just right below them. X tries to find a good angle, goes down to the lower ground instead, and he sees him, so just do a UMP, and fight, baby iron, runs away. Yes, here we go, it takes two to tango, oh, baby, and oh. Alex was, of course, successful in putting down the baby to sleep. Okay, here we go. Um, It's still three teams there, what T2K and I see, we've got Arkra cooking up that nade. Throwing it up against IHC, but you don't want to overexpose yourselves because you still have to be aware of the fact that there is another team right behind you. And you know what? IHC is not going to have any second thoughts of actually shutting oh. you down. And there you go. Nooks has already been shut down by Rogue and has been sent back to the lobby. And managed to. Now one member of uh, Dewey United. And now Dewey United. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Not the fire that he would have wanted to be in. <laughs> and Akra down to 50% of help. Now I he knows where Akra is at. Alex perfect up the oh. day. Devil immediately down Akra, leaving Snowboy alone. Oh man, there you go. A, a difficult win, you know, for um for the side of IHC. It wasn't easy. I mean, like, they did really try their best to survive and just really good communication there, good execution as well. So, yeah, it was a convincing win for the side of IHC. Man, IHC. Very, very good gameplay by the Nigerians. They were on the outside of the circle. They had to fight their win and towards getting the chicken dinner they had to fight against they were united who had the high ground advantage nine eliminations for ihc so that's 19 points for them in this round yes sir and again i did say this just a while ago you know jaw coming from ihc it's uh, it's really not a surprise anymore that we always see his name up there on the board as the most valuable player in any of the matches and again we do have an individual price right it's 250 dollars for the entirety of this competition if you get that mvp title and joel definitely is one of those candidates oh yeah absolutely i mean it's joel one of the uh, top players in the world by now obviously being the world champion so 
that's a that's a definite uh, status there for Joel. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's the MVP this round as well. But we'll look at that a little bit more later. As part of the teams to watch, we got IAG. They were united as pretty consistent as well. So these teams yes. got to keep an eye on them. The team that the chicken did it before this. Uh, mm -hmm. T2K, they were number one when we started this round. And so a third place finish performance. Doing pretty well. And of course, we got four medical mm -hmm. by a team that has always performed well in any tournament. Yes, uh, I do agree with you, Sir Cloud. But if you're going to ask me, this is not like really the hundred percent performance coming from uh, Four Miracle Vibes. I mean, they they are reaching you know the latter stages of the game, making sure that they get into the last few zones. But when it comes to elimination points, um, I think that they can uh, do some more. But check it out, Dewa United, Snowboy. Eight elimination points, 897 damage output, and a total of 66.67% team contribution. Really, really deserving to be the MVP for this match. And uh, followed by, of course, Alex coming from IHC. We also got the uh, aggressive guy from T2K, which is Escalera. We still don't know what he looks like, by the way. We still have to mm. unlock this player and last but not the least we've got audrey coming from geek setting up a total of four elimination points and look at that a hundred percent team contribution uh, maybe when he gets the uh, mvp he will be unlocked ah, yeah. very well now look at the points uh, match ranking so we do know that iac collected 19 other than that they were united 18 points one point behind iac Followed by T2, 11 points, and 4 medical rights, 10 points. So that's the double digit club. Bound A51, the qualified champions. Unfortunately, no points this round. Same goes for DRS, who's playing without their IG rules. Not able to gain a point this time. Yes, sir. And uh, of course, for those uh, vampire fans out there um uh, we're down to three matches and uh, i do believe you know vampire still hasn't found the rhythm just yet um but we still have three more to go right we still have three more to go so plenty of chances more to uh, put up a lot of elimination points onto the uh, scoreboard now let's check out the overall rankings after three matches 44 points for both ihc esports and Dewa united followed by t2k with 39 and that's a huge gap right there uh up against four miracle vibes who landed at the fourth spot followed by big turn red um Aliens with 17, A1, STE Girls, and Geek Fam. Speaking of STE Girls, they moved down three spots, you know, from the overall rankings. That's moving down. On page two, we got a couple of uh, big movers as well. Team Flash, Esports, and Rapid One, and Vampire Esports. All of them are going down a couple of not got some improvement here by Yudu Alliance and Morph GPX. Though, they're not out of it because bottom four will be eliminated so the bottom four is a spot that you do not want to be at 52 esports and drs gaming also went to DRS gaming only three points so yes. it's really to work out on you know what sir cloud this is what always amazes me right you do alliance when it comes to off-season tournaments we always find them uh, you know them at the bottom of the overall rankings right but when it comes to the official tournaments man these guys are always on fire. I mean, obviously, um, you know, they don't want to show their, like, big guns just yet, you know, when it comes to the offseason tournament. And we don't want to call out anything. It's too early, right? This is just day one of the playoffs once again, ladies and gents. And there's still a lot of things to uh, check out or that might happen inside this competition. But more of that when we come back. Red Queen and Sir Cloud will be back after this.
Well, time flies fast when we're having such a good time, right? Can't believe we're already halfway through, but things are starting to hit up between all the teams right here. Some of them still trying to pick up the pace, but again, these are the Titans we're talking about. So welcome back to Clash of Giants Season 4. Brought to you by Ruthless Hype Esports, you are still with your favorite casters, Red Queen and Malaysia's best, Sir Cloud. And uh, Red Queen is also the uh, host, by the way. She was really busy doing hosting. So if you want to oh. check out what sort of hosting that she has, do check out her social medias as well. Yeah, there you go. That that That's a plug in there. That's a plug in. Yeah. So, <laughs> man, we got to do the business again, Red Queen. We got we to gotta get back uh, to it. All right. So. Okay. Here, here we, we go. Dreaded prediction. Um... I think I'm gonna go with IHC this time. Wow, okay. We need the big boys. Hey, yeah, I, I feel like they're gonna do a back to back winner winner chicken Ooh. dinner. Okay. Oh man, I wanted to take United, but okay, okay. I'll, I'll let I'll let production have that. I'll let production <laughs> That is fine. Ooh. Let's see here. Would it be? And it's hard. It's never easy doing these predictions. Oh man. Yeah, it's no. never easy. Um who are we? Okay. Since you took I I'm gonna go with the Nemesis. Four medical vibes. Let's go. Ooh, pop, 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 pop. Okay. All right, now we're talking, now we're talking. How about you guys? Again, we always love for you to join this kind of conversation, this kind of activity here in uh, uh, Clash of Giants Season 4, right? We would love to know your thoughts about this whole thing or which of the teams you think is going to get the next winner winner chicken dinner just make some noise right make a lot of noise even right make a lot of noise down there in the comment section and just uh you know let's just have some fun right i mean this is what it, i mean what what's it's all about right having fun watching our favorite teams go at it with one another and speaking of fun you know what would be fun if you follow us on all of our social media pages as well we are very easy people to find come on ladies and gents i mean we do need your love and support too. So I do hope that you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, right? So just shower us with your uh, hearts, right? Hearts! <laughs> hearts, love, or... Well, just a follow and I'll be really, really happy. And uh, yeah, truly appreciate, truly appreciate, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess uh, don't forget to follow Ruthless High Esports as well. You know what? Because without them, we would be here as well. You guys would have this tournament to enjoy. So show some ruthless like eSports. Give them a follow on wherever you're watching the live stream. You could be watching platforms. Fine, as long as you give them a follow. But let's yeah. all follow the tournament that is going to be happening as we head on to our final Irango. Ooh, man. Again, this is the cash and cow, right? I mean, this is the money making map. This is the gold pot, right? Or like the pot of gold, rather. Um, for all of the teams here, this is the OG map, the El Classico map of Irangle. So again, the final Irangle for this evening, as uh, House or Cloud put it. Um, uh, it's gonna be exciting. Let's just uh, check if uh, some of the teams here are uh, going to have um, like a different gameplay, like a, a sort of a, an alteration when it comes to their strats. But it looks like the flight path started around down south, uh, probably the um, the east side, right, going west this time. But it is right down there at the bottom of Irango. So. We already have an idea, like, which areas are going to be the point of impact. Ooh. You see a good amount of impact, especially Milta, earlier on. For, for two rounds, in fact. So that might be the case again. I have the eye on the the fly path and also the uh, drop. And we might again, though, I'm looking at overlapping colors heading towards them. <laughs> 
Yeah, and uh, like the high caliber players that they are for, Miracle Vibes decided to drop in the heart of the uh, military base. Now we've got Pygmy choosing to drop around a Novo area. Um, we've got plenty of teams right around the east side and the west side but as for the fight oh my goodness here comes a biggest one red alien so once again on your screen here we go again ladies and gentlemen and at the same time look at the nature feed you do a lot to get out of members of a51 as for between btr and the opponents a drs a 30 50 between the two of them Killer only has a shotgun. Lar has a micro Uzi. XMPL is knocked down in the of this warfare. So for him to be hmm. saved by his other members of DRS, they have win the fight. Yeah, I mean, this is probably the, uh, the second time that XMPL got knocked down. You know, at an early onset. Um, a BTR, we've got Gen Foz, right? He tried to cook up a nade, though, but it changed his mind now we've got killer yt on top of this uh, building right here gen Foss! oh completely missed his target there oh man but at least he kind of has an idea of where his opponent is at but now we move over to alliance oh man this looks like you do alliance all over again oh! the one with again it is none other than jimmy op and the Final blow. Again, OP execution. Now, Udo Alliance, good start for them uh, here in match number three. Uh, let's see what happens with a Vampire with one elimination point under their belt. Schweppes going in uh, for the off angle, I believe. Now, Tony K. Uh, okay, he's right inside this house with a UMP and a shotgun. Oh! Oh! He just got caught off guard! Oh, but at least a follow-up can just ride on time. And uh, that is a slight trade there. Now, leaving only this boy up on the hill. Uh, Snowboy monitoring the situation. You have a Thompson. This could be a decent weapon to fight against the Vampire oh, yeah. East was below him. And, okay. 6663 uh, is actually newsy. Five. We have a picture, so we know who, who that mm. is exactly. So, no new players, no new trades, and gentlemen. It is still <laughs> the same lineup. You have been revealed. But, okay, here we go. Zuxi cooking up that nade. Okay, trying to go up against Killer YT. Can he be on point? Wow, amazing. I mean, Killer has been dodging a lot of nades being thrown his way. Unfortunately, it's not the same story for Sleepy. Oh, man. But Killer, now, what? how is he going to get out of this? He's being surrounded now. But we move over back on the Vampire East Boss. He's going to straight forward spray. But none other than Tony K. Finish off the last member of They Were United. Eliminating uh, number 15 with one elimination <laughs> point. And now Killer. Company in the house. Oh, man. Okay. Is he ready for the guests? The oh, ho, ho, man. Saptar. Oh, Killer did not even flinch. Oh, with a shotgun. That is deadly. Now he goes down to the ground floor. Okay, good, good. Execution there. Oh, man. He gets the part this time. Oh, Killer fighting back! And now Killer, with that one, that could give him some hope to win the fight against a BTR. 1v1 right now. Still with the shotgun, he does have an AK on the other hand. La Palm will be finished out by Gante. Killer goes up to the floor, tries to get the information. And now they are just on the left side. Shows himself to by Killer, now down to 20% of health. Has to heal up, but has no first aid. Yeah, I mean, okay, so good shot right there with the molly. I mean, that would prevent them to actually go up the stairs. So, VRS right now trying to flush them out with those nades. But he, I mean, for the side of BTR, they did buy a little time, you know, to go for that quick pickup right there. Now, we've got Killer, again, with a very low HP, but with a shotgun. You know how deadly this player is. But Giante was able to shut down Zoxy once again. DRS left with two players. This time, we've got Satar still trying to do a massive counter, but he is very low on HP, Sir Cloud. Oh, yeah. I mean, this looks like uh, the round that uh, we might lose to DRS. But then again, DRS, they're also having only two players, so they're 50-50. But what I'm a little bit more concerned for these teams is that look at the minimap. 
we have another team approaching and that is 52x they have a well you know they were the former seventh element team and this guys they're not new when it comes to war when it comes to engagement when it comes to clashes and so they're looking to join oh. into the mix but satar Oh man, the way that he shut down Giante from that angle was so, uh, I mean, so amazing. It's it's a, a great exchange coming from both of the players. Yeah, and uh, looks like uh, BTR Satar got some help from 52 E. But and because of that, the DRS have been eliminated. Now all in focus on the Satar Satar back on the T24. Choose him back down. Then Force is on the lower ground. Gen Force. Looks like he is winning the fight so far, but the jump is not over yet. Gen Force <laughs> tries to win the fight the inside of the building, but not able to land the shot thanks to the wall. Yeah, thanks to the wall indeed. Okay, but you know what? There ain't no rest for the weekend. Obviously, 52. Not letting BTR lick their wounds, right? After coming off of a fight, but oh man. A series of unfortunate events for the Vampire Esports. 6663 uh, is currently knocked down. But will Vampire engage up against Geek Fan? We'll find out later as Bigotron Red Aliens. Gen Foss on your screens once again. Four elimination points for this team. And they are still battling it out. Trying to survive up against 52. Oh. But man, Satar is the only player remaining for the side of Bigotron Red Aliens. And now they are going to target him. But 52 Esports having the, the number advantage. Can they put down Satar? But let's not forget that Pig Ming is here what? as well, joining the party. I know, right? And this place is within the blue. But Pig Ming still wants some of it. But here we go, Pig Ming might lose one player. Tanny is now on his knees. Shamir now down to 10% of health. He does have to heal up with this first aid. But the door is now open. Shaman not able to heal up in time. Shaman is going down to the blue. He tries to heal up, but no. No, 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 Shaman no. Shaman he does not. He picks up those points. And he has to let himself go to the blue. And 50 Esports might go down just like that. But pick me is still around the corner. Sir, is somehow still alive. Oh my goodness. Um, I, I, I thought I was going in for that quick kill up, Sir Cloud. I did not expect him to actually uh, just like seal the deal, right? I, I, I did expect him to uh, go f heal himself up, but okay, he has a different idea in mind. But let's check out Pygmy Esports. Again, we're down to just uh, the, the last player. So this is a 1v1 situation. Vampire has just been eliminated, ladies and gents, if you guys are trying to keep track. Now, Satar, again, um, playing with the last member of Pygmy here. Um, it's going to be difficult to call out just who's going to be winning the fight as uh, it is a, a pretty fair matchup. But we can <laughs> hear a lot of gunshots being fired, but uh, not hitting their targets just yet, guys, just yet. And how long will this take? I mean, we're at stage <laughs> two right now. Oh, history might repeat itself again. But Yahweh now shoots onto Satar. Satar, 50% of Yahweh taking damage as well. But he has four first aids in hand. While Satar is still in the not sure how many first aids he has. But he does have a stun grenade. He will toss out to Yahweh and he might do a follow up like that. And now Satar shows himself. They are still on a Mexican standoff. <laughs> okay, nobody wants to get pretty close with one another. Okay, they're trying to eliminate one another um, uh, with a considerable amount of distance here. Uh, playing Ring Around a Rosie from inside the house, but uh, it looks like Yaoi running uh, low on patience. Oh, so, Satar, man, with an awesome kill. Emerge victorious up against Big Me right there, but unfortunately, man, I mean, he's left all alone to deal with the remaining teams inside match number uh, four. What is it? Match number four. Ma match number four in this competition, man, getting lost here. Red Queen, they were, other than Bigatron, there were three other teams in the middle, and the standing was up hard. Can you yeah. imagine? Insane stuff by him.
Well, you did say this a lot of times already, Sir Cloud, that Satar, once he picks up his pace, you know what, once that he picks up his momentum, he's pretty unstoppable inside the battlefield. So that's exactly what he showed us right now. Yeah, if he can survive the blue. If he can somehow survive the blue, I will be absolutely wild. I mean, not like I haven't been wild by Satar. I mean, he has always been amazing, but this was just drive it up a notch. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys, just to keep you updated, stage two here in match number four in Irankle, we're down to just 10 teams remaining. Again, we still got 55 seconds on the clock before uh, we move into the next one. Okay, so already, the zone closed in already. Um, uh, this is the current situation. Severny is still included in the safe zone with a lot of teams coming from uh, down south. So, Possible clash. It will be the ladies right up against Team Flash down there in Severny area. Four medical bar and A1 E spots in the Severny area. But uh, could be just a long range exchange between the two of them. Nothing too serious. Maybe something serious. But I see E spots is down the outside of the circle. Mob GPX in front of them. They're scouting for a different entries. So they might avoid this fight since there's still stage B. So there's enough space for them to navigate around safely into the sun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And again, you know, uh, once you've managed to uh, get to stage 3, you don't want to be breakfast for the, whatever steps that you want to take, you know, inside the battlefield. But uh, speaking of mistakes, uh, Duka seems to uh, made one because she is on the ground right now, courtesy of Team Flash. And just look at that, Batman! Very good vantage point right there, being uh, just doing awesome things. Um, okay, what STE is gonna do this time? Uh, they have a fair amount of distance uh, from uh, Team Flash, so there is time to pick up their teammate. But as for their survival, getting inside Severny and uh, going up against Team Flash. Uh, that's something that we just have to wait and see, but it looks like the ladies of Stalwart Esports are opting to uh, back away, you know, from uh, this collision. And within Severny, we only have Team Ash. Other teams might come by though. Okay, look look at the minimap. Okay, keep what? your eye on them. Passing by. Oh, this is going to be a free spray by Gosu. And now he probably got one member of Gig Fam. Mika is out in the open. Aizen knocked down by Batman. This is really, really bad for Gig Fam. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Sonics is out of touch as well. So we're talking about just like one active member here. Okay, Mika needs to heal himself up before he picks up his uh, teammate. But they are really getting shot at. Um, Batman is not stopping. As you can see, Liu again goes down at the hands of Gosu of Team Flash. So, man, this is a lot of uh, back and forth trades happening with a lot of teams here. Now we got Gosu again on your screen on the move to try and shut down permanently the girls of sword esports can they defend themselves this time Ooh. oh goes no oh, got it and he survives conti will follow up from behind it and duka will be taken out now it's only wisdom the last woman standing for sd girls going up against team flash but team flash they also have more gpx around the corner and wisdom will be taken out team flash now focusing on them off gpx zero comes in the Get out of his own. <laughs> Down to 18s, but just look at that. It looks like Star Wars uh, Esports had a little help, you know, coming from uh, the, uh, I believe, more GPX, right? Yeah. But unfortunately, they have been eliminated as well. Um, Batman goes down at the hands of Zero Morph. Uh, it's uh, still corn tea on your screens, ladies and gents. But Team Flash, okay, rejoice because this team have managed to put up Six elimination points, not bad at all, considering that we are already at stage four of, uh, uh, I mean, here in Irango of match number four. Um, as for A1, they are still alive, right? I just saw Sinister just a while ago. And the good thing, Sir Cloud, is that they are still a complete squad. Oh, yeah. A1, my goodness, with two elimination points. Four. And with a complete squad, they can still rank in those up. Elimination points. 
can see that A1 is within our screen. They are safe and sound in the goal. So they A OK. But you know what, Red Queen? BTR. Sata. Still alive. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, we don't want to. We don't want to jinx it, right? We still have uh, what you call a caster curse. So let's see what's going to happen, mm. Sir Cloud. As we are down to just seven teams remaining, we've got IHC on your screen, ladies and gents. Still looking strong. They all have their own vehicles, so that's very good for mobility. And they're headed onto the south part of the safe zone, where in most of the teams are actually camping. Mm, oh, but the circle all the way up north with 50% of water in it. Man, today's so insane. But anyway, now Godless knocked down from afar. We got Doc here still putting pressure on the C and A1. They are just behind IHC. Doc within the circle, so pressure is more onto IHC. Hmm, here we go. Formical vibes on your screen, ladies and gents. They haven't put up any numbers just yet onto the scoreboard, but I mean, that's the whole goal, right? Get to the latter stages of the game and just like really have an explosive performance. But we're talking about the likes of uh, IHC as well as A1 still right inside the battlefield. But that was a good shutdown right there coming from Sinister. Alex is already on the ground. Ooh, maybe back in the lobby. Right now, so this is still all right if you got if you look at it, and uh, they still have a full squad after all that. But they need to prepare because more three coming by, four medical mm. buys will be gatekeeping other teams from coming in as well. You do lions around the corner on the other side of the circle. Now we have mm. A one on visual. Nave will be set across rowdy, and it will <laughs> not land onto more GPX just yet. Zero okay. I'm telling you, Sir Cloud, A1, the boys of A1 seems to be in a very good mood today. You know, they, again, a very aggressive gameplay, been strong from the get-go. So I'm expecting a lot of great things coming from uh, Sinister and the rest of the boys there, especially coming from your favorite player as well, Rowdy. Um, uh, uh, again, this is match number four. We're down to just seven teams, uh, six elimination points coming from Team Flash, but... Uh, down to just two players as well. So uh, they're lacking in firepower, but let's see if they can pull up a chicken uh, dinner uh, in any situation that may come across uh, right at them in this uh, match. Um, A1, uh, I can't say that this is the best of spots, right? I mean, they're so close with one another and you don't want to be so close or like be together in just one spot because you have to dodge all of those nades and molly. Now here comes a right behind the tree holding oh. a shotgun, S12K. Did he manage to put Doc down? Oh. Yes, he did! Okay, now Arrow! Oh, Arrow! Knocked down! Oh, Doc and Arrow both out. Now we got Baron. Refuse. Four medical fights. Are they losing the plot against IHC? Refus nade across onto Rogue. Rogue fires back. Refus takes a little bit of damage and that's headed across by Refus. At the same time, Mob GPX eliminated and number seven with three oh. elimination points. A1 TMT. A1 definitely clutching it, showing up, stepping up their gameplay for each and every one of you, doing a very nice fan service for you guys out there. Now we've got Refus coming from four miracle vibes. On the ground as well, bleeding. And now he uh, he has already bled out, right? Because he's back in the lobby, ladies and gents. Courtesy of Rolls of a trained it to kill. We can see also Jimmy coming from Udo Alliance. Just uh, a little bit uh, over there at the uh, back side. Now we've got Joel targeting Jimmy from this angle. And is he connecting? I believe he is. But it was Rogue who took in a big damage coming from Sinister of A1. Because he is on the ground. And Sinister is just really capitalizing on this opportunity. Making it rain nades. Oh, look at the blue one. Oh, the Sinister. Sinister does not have any first aid. He sprays onto the left side. Sinister! Oh! The little one before he went down onto Conti. Sinister might have be added. One more point for A1 TMT. Beautiful spray by Sinister. But now, Team Flash will be sending a nade across. Gosu will not be able to land any nade onto his opponent. But Sinister went out to 
Ah, uh, what did I tell you guys? Seven elimination points for the side of A1. We've got Rowdy on the screen. I mean, Rowdy's performance seems to have a big effect, right? On to the uh, chemistry and synchronicity of uh, A1's gameplay. So I do hope that they can continue on playing at this kind of pace inside a battlefield. Now, six teams remaining. And again, we've got Rose on your screen. Um, T2K still up five and very much uh, happy to Rose. put down any player that comes along their way. Now, Rose again getting that point, getting the job done. And Team Flash, just like that, has been eliminated. And look at the second go towards the edge of this beach. And T2K is within the sun. Joel goes down to the blue. Hitman landed on damage for him to be taken out. And that's going to be number five for IAC with three elimination points. And now Hitman, get away his teammate, Rowdy. We need to find a way into the circle, but T2K is already there. You guys coming by, we got Olio here out oh. in the open. And it's going to be Rose knocking down Olio. Looking for the second one, and Ilu goes out as well. Oh man, Yudo Alliance seems to have a uh, find uh, their oh. spot as well, but what just happened? Okay, Yudo Alliance, oh, man, these guys are now showing up for match number four. They just put an end to T2K's reign. Field crash there by oh, but we're oh. not Hitman comes in, Hitman! Buggy blow, unfortunately, knocked by the buggy. And uh, that was by Jimmy OP. The other you do realize they can still reset. Because right now, the other ones are still on the outside of the circle. They have a lot of time to do so. Oh man, it's getting pretty intense. Utah Lion seems to uh, found their uh, perfect rhythm for match number four. They are on the top of the charts here with the biggest chance of actually pulling off a chicken dinner. Up against four Miracle Vibes, a Baron, and also Rowdy of A1 a TMT. But when it comes to the numbers, obviously, Yudo Alliance still has a complete squad. Therefore, getting the biggest chance of, like, uh, catching the chicken dinner. So, what's gonna happen? Uh, we still don't know, but, um, yeah. Oh, Baron just got eliminated. Now we're talking about the last player coming from A1, but uh, it's pretty obvious, Sir Cloud. I mean, it's a 4v1 situation. Yeah, it's 4v1, and they know where Rowdy is at. It's going to be a sad ending towards A1 TNT, and Yudo Alliance takes home chicken dinner number four. Oh man, all right, here we go. And again, um, as you said, Sir Cloud, how many days are we gonna be playing for the playoffs? Three, Three days. Three days. So again, it's a tight competition, pretty much just like what happened during the qualifying rounds, right? And all of these teams, it looks like um, they all want a shot at the uh, of the prize pool, right? Uh, I mean, everyone really is starting very aggressive for the playoffs. So that is a good sign right there because the veteran teams as well as those dark horse teams would want to proceed to the grand finals. And that is it, ladies and gents. You have something to look forward to when it comes to the Clash of Giants Season 4. Oh, man. Absolutely tons of things to look forward to looking at the performances of these teams. And as of now, different regions getting different good dinners for themselves. Let's see if we can see more diversity here. Mm. And also, if we look at some of the stats here, so Yudo Alliance with Jimmy Flex, uh, Adi Luke, as well as Olio scoring the chicken dinner. But the MB will go to. Got a shout out to production for providing the fresh new graphic, by the way. Jimmy OP, six celebrations and six and nine damage. Oh man, again, I'm just happy at the fact that Yudo Alliance seems to uh, really want to play this uh, this off-season tournament because uh, I believe, you know, fr from uh, all of the Clash of Giants that I casted, they seem to be always pretty chill when it comes to their performance. But I'm seeing a different Yudo Alliance right now, Sir Cloud. So I'm very excited to uh, witness a lot more action coming from this specific team right here. Now, teams to watch. 
Uh, it's A1, a Team Flash, and a for Miracle Vibes. You know what? I can say pretty much the same thing to uh, A1. Oh yeah, this is a round that they did well. I mean, you got a second finish, and it was a tough round for them. That they had to fight a lot of teams to get into the circle. And uh, the man at the forefront for A1 TNT is going to be Sennis. While we got Jimmy OP as the top performer for Yudo Alliance. Tony K has up somehow for Vampire Esports. And man, if I were to get one big honorable mention, it's definitely going to be Sata. He oh. is a three different teams who came to Milta at the start. Yeah, yeah, ain't no rest for the wicked. Um, I'm still waiting on uh, the uh, the monstrosity, right? Uh, the tenacity coming from Vampire Esports. Uh, they're still not showing off their uh, their 100 percent of uh, like power to uh, to us. So I'm excited to. Uh, to witness that uh, match ranking again, Udo Alliance setting up a total of 19 points, followed by a one with 14. As for those uh, bottom four, it's DRS, Dewa United, A51, and uh, the ladies coming from Stalwart Esports. Now, again, we did say this uh, just a while ago, Sir Cloud. You know, Stalwart Esports, right? The women, uh, they're very good at setting themselves up in terms of location, right? But in terms of firepower, in terms of getting those elimination points. They are lacking a bit on that. Uh, I mean, in that department. Yeah, I I totally agree. Like uh, they always get themselves in uh, a compound with the circle somehow, and it's all about defending it. So if they can work that out, I'm sure they would do really well. But at the overall rankings right now, IHC Esports, Tony at number one, Fifth, followed by Dewey United Helios, 45 points, T2K, 45, A1 TMT. 30 points and four medical vice 29 points that the yeah, top five but you do alliance with that one chicken dinner boosted them up to six with 26 points three yeah. points behind the uh four medical vibes right with just one game i mean it can make or break any team <laughs> Um, as for the second page, ladies and gents, uh, it's the girls, right? Uh, they moved uh, two spots again down in the overall rankings with a total of 15 points. Uh, Geek Fam with uh, 15 points as well. Pretty much the same status with the SDE girls. Pygmy Esports with 13, tied up with Vampire. And for the bottom four, it's Morph GPX, 52 Esports. A51 and DRS Gaming. Now, all of these four teams that that I just mentioned, right? Um, they're all heavy hitters. Uh, they're not new in the competition. They're not new in playing PUBG Mobile. But again, uh, the lobby is pretty stacked. We all know that we got the the giants in the region, right? Playing for this tournament, so it's going to be an exciting uh, tournament. I guarantee you that one. I still believe those teams at the bottom four will do a major comeback because, Sir Cloud, we still got two more Miramars. Yes, but before we head on to our Miramars, we'll be taking a short break, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll see you when we come back from Mirama.
And wow, I could use a drink as well. <laughs> but I hope you guys got your drink because we are coming into the dusty map of Mirama. Clash of Giants season four is back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sir Cloud together with the wonderful Rin who finally fixed her lightsaber. No, uh, I I mean this is like a tofu light, you know. This is I, unfortunately it broke down, Sir Cloud. So I'm looking to uh, get myself another one, but this time might be a real lightsaber. But who knows? Um, yeah, uh, if you continue to follow us on all of our social media accounts, then we'll have funds, right, to uh, get what we want to upgrade our setup. So. Do follow Red Queen and Sir Cloud, ladies and gents. Come on. Yes. That's the reality <laughs> of it. That's why we're asking you to follow us as well. Right. But we also need to do the due diligence now. All right. This is a new map. Um, mm -hmm. it, it, get, it gets harder. It's hard. It's a new map. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh man, okay. Um, yeah, the desert Miramar, the battered desert of Miramar. Okay, which team to pick? Oh goodness. Um, uh, okay, I feel like this team is um, on a roll. I believe uh, they can pull off a chicken dinner because I've seen them do that multiple times in Miramar. So I'm going to go back to A1 TMT. Ooh. Okay. Oof. Okay. I mean, uh, so production picked uh, they were united uh, before this. Wanted to pick them. So I guess this time is my chance. So I picked were united. Let's go. Bam. Ooh. Predict, uh, production? Who are you going to pick? Ooh. Let's go. Ooh, let's oh, go. Man. It's taking, it's taking them a little go. while. You know how hard it is. Now it's time for your heads to ache as well. You know the pressure that you, you put us through in picking teams. Okay, vampire. All oh. right. You know, okay, let me just say one thing about A1, all right? Um okay. uh, they're they're an amazing team. Sinister have been a, an amazing IGL as well, but Rowdy getting into the mix. I mean, it's something special. It's uh, Rowdy is one of again uh, great players, right, inside a PUBG Mobile world, and adding him with the guys of uh, with the guys of A1, I believe his impact is something to is uh, is worth a huge value for the team. So, in terms of their chemistry and the way that they move inside the battlefield, is just you know, it's fantastic. It's fascinating. Yeah, and he survived the longest for them as well, bringing them that second place finish. So, mm -hmm. he can. we have seen his gun skills before. We know what he's capable of. And we just saw him survive that long. So, he could probably do it again and probably shoot them to a chicken dinner. I mean, not gonna lie. I, um, to a certain extent, pick the A1 TMT as well. Oof, okay. How about... Uh... How about your choice, Sir Cloud? They were united. What makes them so special for for this particular match? I mean, uh, you know, I, if it wasn't they were united, I might have picked BTR. But BTR uh, seems to be a bit shaky. But maybe that's because of that uh, the multiple early fights in Nilta. But because it's the first time we're going to see them this tournament in this map, so I got to park it aside because I might pick them later on. But to answer to why they were united. Uh, they dropped one round before, uh, in the previous round, round four. Other than that, they were doing great. So that might boost the way that, guys, you know what? We cannot drop any more rounds. We won that number one spot. Let's go oh. on to the grand finals. So they might come back this time. Yeah, okay. So one of, um, one of the things that I'm looking forward to right before we jump into our first Miramar this evening is... Uh, an erratic behavior coming from the circle, Sir Cloud, and I do hope it gives us a, a, pecu a peculiar one. <laughs> Ooh, yes. I would I would ask for if I if it was a peculiar one, I want an Impala circle. So Ooh. if it was you, like where would you want it to go? Down in Los Higos. 
We've seen the go. fight happen. We, we've seen the fight happen. It was chaotic. It was disastrous for a lot of teams. Yeah, I do like it. I do like it. I do like the idea as well. So if it goes lost, he goes, I'll, I'll be cool. I'll take that. But uh, it won't like us for that for sure. <laughs> They'll be like, no, stop it. We've been getting tough souls back to back. So give us a chill one for once. Now we're not giving you guys any break. I mean, the mm -hmm. harder the circle, the more fun it is for us, especially as uh, especially us casters, right? We see a lot of action. We see a lot of uh, clutch movements, right? And we see a lot of uh, uh, depressing um, players getting killed, right? So that's that's fun. <laughs> Oh yeah, absolutely. What's fun for us ain't fun for them, and they have to take it because they're the players. They have to entertain <laughs> us. <laughs> so yeah, go for it, circle. Oh, oh okay. Well, we'll, we'll kind of close and close that. Okay, so your Impala finish might happen because just look at the first circle. Look at the initial circle right there. It has at least forty percent water. So um, we're talking about Midomar not having enough loot and now they don't have enough space so it's uh this is gonna be a tough one exciting to watch but we are seeing a, an exchange happen between vampire this time and a bigotron red aliens ah uh, here we go looks like another fight even inside of mirama but uh, and they lost a thought they wanted to keep play my goodness and they're going up against a yudo alliance a team that just came out of the chicken early on oh no vampire esports Ooh. Newsy take it out just like that bar. And uh, they're looking for more, but they won the fight. Wow. At the cost of Okay, so that was a good fight right there. I mean, Vampire seems to have lost their footing once again, ladies and gents. So BTR emerged victorious coming off of that fight. They were united this time versus IHC. Two casualties, so it's just Jol and Rogue. But, I mean, Jol being one of their best fraggers, uh, he already... Um, actually caught the MVP award in one of our matches for this evening. So let's see how far or like how good of a performance they're going to be showing us this evening or for this particular match right here up against Dewa United. We've got Baby Iron on the move. Was able to shut down one of the players or any players of uh, IHC. But what? Snowboy! Snowboy made an amazing clutch right wow. there, eliminating IHC permanently. My goodness. You know what? Snowboy has been really showing up though. Mm. Not a lie. If almost every round is always him and him and him and him. I mean, this guy, he has something with him. And if I'm not mistaken, he's a new member or a tryout member for I for They Were United. So keep an eye on this guy. Mm. Okay. A player who is auditioning. Okay, so that is something to watch out for, definitely. Down to just 14 teams, and uh, we are just a few minutes, or like a few seconds even, into the gameplay. Now we've got DRS up against Pygmy. And again, Pygmy currently right now at the bottom of the overall ranking. Same thing goes for DRS. So we are expecting both of these teams actually um, be a little aggressive in getting those elimination points to kind of improve and when it comes to their status. Yeah, elimination points is definitely what meta is in this current uh, state of point. So they definitely need to work things out on how they're going to get it. DRS right now, especially the team looking to get out of the bottom. Big me. Number two, okay, but they don't want to be in the bottom four, so they still need to work things out. So now we can see them kind of locked in with each other. And mm -hmm. uh, they don't have the circle. We see this time and time again today. Like, the other day, nobody wins. Mm. And just look at that. Both of the teams, uh, they don't want to reveal their exact locations just yet. You you would want to maintain that element of surprise, right? That, that could be the best thing that could happen to you when you want to shut down any of the players, you know, from uh, the opposition. But just a while ago, to update you guys, coming off the kill feed, we've got Duka of uh, Stalwart Esports. She got knocked down just a while ago, but there was no confirmation just yet if she had been uh, sent back to the lobby, right? I do hope they were able to... Uh, um, go for the pickup, right, and uh, defend themselves. But getting back to the current situation, which is Pygmy 
Oh man, on point Nade coming from DRS Killer YT. Wow, and then they were sent across all the way behind. So for him to cross with such a team, he's going to take a while right now. DRS, they're going to take advantage of it. They surround this compound where Big Lee is at. And they managed to get another one looking for more, two more to go. Make that one more for Big Lee. I remind you, one standing and he's fighting back. But it is still to no avail. He went down, but he still managed to get right. one out of DRS. You know, that was... Um the opening knock, right, that DRS was looking for, the moment that it hit a player, right, that was like a domino effect uh, coming from the side of uh, Pygmy. Unfortunate situation, of course, but still, DRS gets the job done, so they remain in this match to get to the latter stages of the game. Now, down to just 13 teams, we're looking at Team Flash. They were able to set up three elimination points, and now they're still on the move to get some more. Gosu just, uh, I think, trying to replenish his backpack right here okay i don't see any teams getting so close to them although i see one different color right down there in the middle but i'm not sure if team flash is even aware of that one yeah i don't think so Maybe <laughs> not. But anyway for team they are in an okay position three points so i guess even if they let this one go oh. they're still going to be a okay Oh, so it's uh, actually wisdom that is right um, in the middle of uh, this road right here. Okay. Um, I do hope she doesn't get spotted by Team Flash. Um, I do wonder where the rest of the team is. Um, but it seems like they're far from each other. So it's really the best move to stay quiet, right? If you guys are not ready to, f to get into an engagement... Uh, might as well just remain silent at least, you know, for, for the opposing team to leave. Now, that's exactly what the ladies coming from Stalwart Esports is doing right at the moment. Team Flash, maybe they're getting the sense that they're not alone in this specific area, right? Um, but uh, they don't have the time to really look for this player. I mean, it's such a great risk to overextend your stay in the blue zone, especially in Miramar. Yeah, plus it's a it's a big map, right? So traveling time takes a bit there. But I'm sure Team Flash, they know what they're doing because uh, so far no big engagements from them or they're not really in a mood to hunt down if they know that someone's in there. So they're going to loot and they're probably going to leave just like that. But I'll be a little bit more worried for Wisdom though because it has to wait for Team Flash to leave yeah. before she can move. Yeah, that's great wisdom right there. Just remain quiet, right? You, you're not ready to get to go in a, in a fight with Team Flash, so just uh, just stay quiet for now. But I do hope they find themselves, um, you know, vehicles around the area because it will be hard, you know, from getting from point A to point B or like just get inside the, the the safe zone circle without any vehicles for you to run out there in the middle of the desert on foot. It's going to be pretty tough. I mean, if you get spotted by a team, it's going to be the end of the line for you in an instant. But circle time. Um, uh, we've got A1 a little bit onto the uh, south part area of um, the zone. I do believe they have at least two more teams with them. So possible clash. We'll just have to wait and see. But it's too early to say. A51, on the other hand, um, pretty close with another th team okay so this is morph gpx yeah morph gpx against a51 turn to see right now so the unwanted neighbors have arrived plus they're still in the circle unless they got an advantage okay kanza will be playing a big role here if you can get a couple of knocks mm. on the morph gpx the rest of them will rush yeah, I'm checking out the throwables here. Okay, so Kansa has like two nades, four molly. So that's enough to actually flush out the boys of four GPX. Now, oh man, unfortunately for Wisdom, she got spotted by Team Flash. So, so I mean, she, she's, she, she got sent back to the lobby. Oh, unfortunate again for the ladies of Stalwart Esports, man. Okay, I mean, day one of the playoffs, so it's still, you guys still have a lot of chances to uh, perform better, right, in the next days to come. But you have to figure out uh, a, uh, an effective plan, a much more effective plan to uh, make sure that 
you stay at the top of your game. Now, down to just 12 teams remaining. Four Miracle Vibes on your screen. And uh, they might go up against Geek Fam. Oh, Doc getting tagged. Okay, yeah. he received a little bit of damage, but it's, uh, it's a quick reflex right there. Uh, was able to go on prone and was able to dodge that attack. So Rifa's now cooking up that nade. Oh, getting oh, ready to throw. Oh. Huge damage, but not enough to put him down. Now, here comes the second attack. Here comes the second nade. Kobe? No, not yet. Jump across. Gonna go in with And Audrey coming in to back up his teammate as well. Refuse. Oh, he missed beside him. This is beside him. behind. Rebels. Oh, oh no. Oh, I did not take the corner. But then again, Arrow is there to follow up. Lucky enough. Yes, Arrow together with him. Whew, good distraction right there. Now, Geek Fan obviously in uh, big trouble here. And again, this fight is happening south part of Los Leones. But most of the teams, amazingly, already right down there in the middle. Now, Geek Fan versus Four Miracle Vibes, they have to settle the score soon enough. Now, Audrey puts down Baron and just made sure that he's not going to come back from that one. Uh, there you go, Baron out. Geek Fan fighting back. But they only have Audrey and Mika right now. It's three members of four medical vibes. Doc from the other side. Kinda have an idea where all that arrow comes in. High guard fighting onto Audrey. Audrey being burned down at the same time. Take <laughs> damage on the molly. Arrow! Oh. Oh. Where did the name come from? It came from the teammate Rufus. Yeah! Oh man, this is a good exchange. Oh, you don't want to miss this fight. Okay, two. Active plays for the side of four miracle vibes, but uh, let's jump on to T2K Esports this time as they go up against a 51. We've got Rose right behind that tree, but he needs to be careful though because right above him are the boys coming from A1 TMT. Okay, so but I believe he knows this one. That is why he's keeping his head low because he doesn't want his head to get popped. Oh, Ooh, a making sure he's popping it from afar. And with that one single spray, he will be able to eliminate a DRS. DRS out with only four points, so they have not achieved oh. at least 10 yet. Man, this is not looking too good, right, for the side of DRS. Um, you know how it is. With the kind of point system that we have, you just really need to be aggressive when it comes to getting those elimination points. They need to have, like, an explosive, out-of-the-world performance for tomorrow, at least. Uh, they're gonna need every power that they can get uh, to, to make up for everything that happened for today. I mean, we are at the second to the last game for this evening so we don't really have that much time to gather more points but i i do hope that they improve their uh, position in the overall rankings now coming off the kill fit it's dewa united versus team flash and it looks like team flash their members are getting picked off one by one. Oh yeah team flash now three players left and the only team spending time in the blue and it's good like seven elimination points so far and now we have Team Flash on visual. And they're going up against a Dewa United who is on fire right now. And uh, look who was leading the charge. It was Snowboy. And now Nooks will be at the forefront. Snowboy is going to follow up behind him. All right, here we go. Now, uh, like we've mentioned a while ago, we do expect the numbers uh, or like the stats for throwables will go higher. Oh you can see that, you know, these teams are having an exchange. Uh, well, we've got one player coming from the side of Dewey United. currently knocked down, and we've got Zero on your screen doing a massive spray. He is... I mean, he's damaged a bit, but it's not stopping him to actually shut in down any of the players coming from Dewey United. Now, here comes Musa on top of Baby Iron doing a spray as well. Oh, but not enough to shut him down, Sir Cloud! That was almost! Oh my... Dewey United, they lost that fight! Out at number 10 with four elimination points. But both GPX, they're not out of range just yet. Team Flash is here. Nate sent across onto Team Flash. Batman! Nate is down. Probably going to be sent back to Gotham. Oh, brutal. Yeah. I mean, he's on the ground. I do wonder where Robin is at. 
Um, nine elimination force for Team Flash right here, but we're talking about Quan, the last remaining player. Can he make it out alive? Can he make it happen oh. for the team? Hazel or Haze says no. Man, that was a beautiful spray there to eliminate the members of Team Flash. And Team Flash is out. Nine eliminated points. Give the brother a 10, but nope, they're not going to let that happen. Anyway, now we got 8 1 TMT. Four medical fights below them. Death Star knows that he's there. Okay, that storm. Um, is it me, Sir Cloud, or are the games all fast paced? Because I'm looking at the clock. I mean, it, I. It hasn't reached 10 p.m. just yet, but we are already a second to the last game. So, man, all games, I mean, it's, it went by pretty fast. Oh, yeah. Today is uh, really hot and fast. And I guess that's what <laughs> happens. It's like all these big giant teams together. Like, everyone's so aggressive. You think about it. Mm, well, again, time is not on their side here, Sir Cloud. Um, you know, r the moment that they landed from the plane right it's it's all fights it's all battles it's all exchange pretty much just like what is happening right now between a51 and t2k we've got rules making it rain nade and uh, we've got cancer on the ground but rules has been a little bit reckless right there now rums just uh took that opportunity whoa, to shut whoa, him whoa, down but this is a good follow-through coming from igneous right there he practically saved the team Oh man, beautifully done by Igneous, and he will have to split to save his teammates. Oh, but look at this. Mob JPX around the corner. We have the time. Popping up the smokes. Hoping that time will be on his side, but Zero popping up his own nade as well. Igneous gotta be careful. <laughs> he has to relocate himself. And mm. luckily did because the nade did shred his health. Yeah, Rose on his knees once again. Oh my goodness. Um couldn't catch a break. Now Zay cooking up that nade. Looking to put an end uh, to Rawls. T2K Suic has just been shut down by Morph GPX once again. And it looks like they're dominating currently stage 4 Ooh. inside Midamar. And just like that, T2K, the Assassins, has just been sent back to the lobby. Down seven, uh, We're down to 7 teams remaining. A51 also down to just 2 members. Look at this. Mob GPX on a roll. My. Every team that they meet, they eliminate. Now we're going to put focus on the team out of the side of the circle. We do have four medical fives against 851. If I dock onto the ground floor, but nobody's there. Mukesh is actually on the second floor. The nade probably going to send it up this time. Nope, he's going to send it to the stairs, but no, <laughs> Mukesh is still not there. All right, again, everyone is holding a nade, right? Uh, but we've got Doc for Medical Vibes trying to flush them out of this house right here. Mukesh cooking a nade himself. Okay, almost. Okay, that was close. He, I mean, if he released that um, nade uh, a little bit early, I think he has a, a chance to shut down one player coming from um, A51 there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, seven teams still. We've got Rifus, uh on your screen. Uh, man, it's uh, a little bit of a struggle coming from the side of 4 America Vibes to flush out the remaining players of A51, which is pretty unusual if you're going to ask me. Let's see, A51, still not flushed out yet though. Hmm. The Mookie is still holding his ground pretty well. It could be big. Ooh. It's going to be a there big one. Go. Yes, there it will. Go. Nice bounce there by Mookish. This physics teacher will be real proud. <laughs> Yeah, great calculations. Um, uh, Reflux again. Oh, they just lost two of their members, so they have to be careful this time. They know what is at stake. I mean, you've managed to get this far, so you don't want to lose on that advantage. But again, oh, Mukesh with a spray, man. A51 with a nice counter. Just uh, shuts down for Miracle Vibes. That is defensive. Look at his best, ladies and gentlemen. Nicely done by Mukesh and Co. Now, red villains, red aliens now with this high ground advantage with Gen Force lower ground just to go for the close quarters combat against 52 esports. 52 esports being surrounded not only by Brickatron but oh, Marvel GPX behind. 
Okay, five elimination points for BTR. Okay, so far so good for the red aliens. They seem to be um, starting to pick up on uh, their pace, right? Um, 52 esports on the other hand, we already have one casualty and they're trying to shut down the guys coming from BTR this time. Oh, Jen Foss! That was almost, okay, that was a close call right there. It's a good thing that he still, I mean, he's left with a little bit of HP now. He needs to buy a little time for that quick heal up to uh, happen. Now, Shamir cooking up a nade as well. It's still a little bit shaky performance coming from uh, 52, but let's see what is going to happen or who is going to be emerging victorious coming out of this clash. And you know what, Sir Cloud? I think we have three teams competing right here. Oh yeah, both with each other. At least two within the creator. And more GPX taking care of uh, the view from the high ground. Okay, zone time. About three more. This zone is going to be crucial right now. We're going to the middle, going to the side. Mm -hmm. Here we go, middle time. And A1 oh. has it. Yes, definitely. Oh my goodness. And Udo Alliance have been quiet, right? So let's see. Uh, probably they're just waiting for the right time to get inside the safe zone. But speaking of right timing, Bigotro Red Aliens now decides to get inside this house to uh, retaliate on this. Uh, a uh, I mean, 52 oh. Esports. Oh my goodness. That was a good exchange. Both of the teams actually in trouble. Oh, but we got T24 still on the lower ground. We got a building. Well, Dusty keeps an eye on the T24 from the high ground. Morph GPX. Looks like now it's destined to be in action. They're going to manage another team close by to Bob Picatron Red Aliens. They have one more to go in the name of T24. Yeah, and also, uh, I mean, oh man, okay, that was unfortunate. Oh, the park oh. goes down as well. So T24 from 52 Esports is the only player remaining. Um, but he is pretty surrounded, right? Uh, oh man, this is a tough one because the blue zone is uh, ready to devour them in just a few seconds. 16th remaining. T24 trying to spot players from uh, both GPX as well. Now we've got Zux. Oh, Sinister spots him. Okay, good reflex though coming from the side of Zuxy. He got on prone just in time but sinister with a mini 14 this is a very nice dmr to have so let's see if he can be accurate and precise when it comes to his shots yeah trying to tap onto the head of zaxi but uh, zaxi will need to show him at some point anyway because he's on the outside and the blue will definitely break him to move he's going to the lower ground oh, and ooh. now utilize is going to come in rag space but it's a big thing to think oh. about then on the zaxi case that's what we kind of expected to happen. Now, Antoine has Mukesh here. Rex is currently down. It's going to be the last active man standing. He's moving into the middle. But look at all these teams surrounding him. Right, and Sinister's just on fire. I mean, we're not talking about any player that he was able to shut down. I mean, that was Zaxi. And he was at uh, an advantage when it comes to a position. Higher ground. And the way that Sinister puts him down from that angle... It's fascinating to watch, definitely. And just look at the stats here. A1 is uh, the one dominating. Has the biggest chance to actually score that chicken dinner. But, you know, caster's curse. I don't want to jinx anything. Yep, yep, yep. Let's hold on right now. Because A1 still has utilized full squad. More of GPS, full squad and on fire. Now we have T24 here up against a rowdy. Wow! to be hit that. Saving Rowdy from afar! <laughs> Oof, man. I mean, this is something to watch, ladies and gents. I do hope you have your eyes locked onto your screens because, man, it is getting pretty intense. Now we've got Udo Alliance trying to clap back up against Morph GPX and Jimmy at the Mini 14. Man, you just have to make it work. Um, a Kluk, okay, M416 on hand, Hazel inside this shack, uh, just checking out, right? Uh, trying to find an angle that could best work, you know, to shut down any of the players from u Alliance, just to take out or lessen their uh, advantage when it comes to uh, position. I mean, he's trying to work it all out from that small window right there. So four teams remaining, ladies and gents.
but this circle is going to be kind of tough for you to alliance however as you send two players by the edge of the circle above gpx we'll be looking at new alliance now we got zero scoping out with the times three scope with his m4 but the smoke is blocking his vision and we move gpx double jump into the circle and that is where it's going to be real dangerous for Mookie. Oh man, okay. Sinister, godlike reflexes. He, he he knew he was getting some uh, damage and he just uh, gave up that uh, higher ground right there. Now, Udo Alliance, Jimmy, driving a monster truck. He gets damage, but was able to dodge uh, all of those bullets being sent his way. Now, Zay, I believe, just cooked up a nade up against the Udo Alliance right here. Okay, so this is an exchange between Morph and Udo Alliance. Man, all of the teams right here seems to Yo! have uh, a lot of nades inside their backpacks. But unfortunately for Kluk, though, he took a nade to the face. So that puts them at a disadvantage. Now, there, here comes the attack coming from Morph GPX. Of course, they wouldn't want to let go of this one. Now, here comes the trade. Flex for the Whoa. UMP. Unfortunately, Morph GPX <laughs> is just too strong at the moment. Absolutely, they are gonna leave burning right now. But A1 going up against more EX. Sinister goes down. Looks like a little bit of a knockdown here. And now Mob GPX still defending the ground real well. Three active plays for the side of one and A1. Trying to surround the members of Mob GPX, pushing them to still guard stage eight. And if they can keep Mob GPX at this corner, the two might do its work. Yes, crunch time, crunch time, 3v3, fair fight between these two teams. Sinister, oh man, he needs to crawl back because at this point of the match, Sir Cloud, no teammates actually ready to uh, pick him up, right? It's going to be too risky. So Morph GPX, man, they are already on the move. We've got Zero throwing in some Molly right here. A1, are you guys even prepared? Baird, oh man, 12 elimination points coming from the side of Morph GPX. Now Zero pulls out his M416. Tried to do a heavy spray up against Rowdy. Rowdy very good with dodging that attack. But it looks like Morph GPX is at uh, an advantage. But, okay, so 2v2, Sir Cloud. Both of the teams really putting up a good show. Oh, we got Rowdy here together with Hitman. The duo that's good at it. And spray by it, man. Oh! The team of the down. Jose on the other side against the Rowdy as well as it, man. It's going to be 1v2. Let's see what's all a big clutch. Can he pull up here? Rowdy cooking his nade. Nades on the other side of Rowdy as well. But the nade will not hit on the Rowdy. But Rowdy, he oh! does have another nade. I am at the edge of my seat. Honestly, man, this is pretty intense. Um, uh, Hazel on the ground, bleeding. It's a 2v1 situation. Pretty much just what Sir Cloud said just a while ago. Now we've got an exchange of nays happening. Zay getting some damage, but he is ready to attack. The remaining boys coming from A1 TMT Esports, but 2v1. Whoa. A1 obviously has the advantage, but Hitman hey. a huge chunk of damage right there. Now 1v1 situation. Rowdy, it is all up to you. He shuts down Zay. A1 Yo. wins the game. With a Rowdy being the hero. Best guy. Like what you said, new transfer onto A1. And now he brought them the chicken dinner towards the end. Bring it out. Rowdy! Oh, man, you guys, I called it A1. He's gonna win the first middle mark this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Your stars, your man of the hour. A1 TMT Esports, Red Queen being your lucky charm. There you go. Wow, your role today. Great work, great work. <laughs> A1. Man. I mean, they do look like they had protect from the previous rounds. Like, okay, something's gonna happen here. Something's cooking for A1. And I don't think they've shown it inside of Mirama. Five total knockouts. At the end of the day, it is still a chicken dinner for A1 TMT Esports. Man, these guys. Man, what else can they come up with next?
<laughs> I don't know, but honestly, I'm literally sweating here. That class made me super excited. You know, I, I mean, Morph GPX, you guys did your best to actually go up against A1 TMT, unfortunately. Um, you know, it was a, a good spot, you know, for, for Rowdy. I mean, he had been patient. He just really waited for the right opportunity to shot Morph GPS from that angle alone. And uh, that was the perfect move for uh, A1 TMT to actually win this first mid of Mars. So let's check out the MVP right inside of the battlefield. It goes to zero of Morph GPX having to set up five elimination points and 38.46 percent team contribution man serious zero we need to know how he looks like and uh one of the newer players for more gpx now he is obviously the top performer following mm -hmm. behind him is going to be hitman with four eliminations and we got four other members of more gpx as well hazel as well as zay i mean from the stop of winning all their fights it's just Towards the end, they lost it to A1, um, but other than that, you've got to think about it. Mom GPS have been amazing the entire round. I know, right? I mean, usually, um, all the teams that have been performing really well are, you know, the teams that pre always pretty chill when it comes to Clash of Giants season four. So, again, I'm I'm so happy. But with the MVP, yeah, talk about being from zero to hero, right? Zero being the most valuable player for this particular match right here. Again, like what I said, even though they did not get the winner winner chicken dinner, Morph GPX gave us a wild performance, you know, for the first Midamar. Yeah, that beats the, the two teams who are the only two teams to get the double di double digit uh, everyone else is like a single digit onwards uh, let's check out some of the set rounds so you did mention about the possibility of uh, the uh, throwables use numbers might go up and yes it did but i think it was Pika. he would be expecting at least 200 and above to satisfy him so we're at the 86 now what matters is going to be the overall points Ooh, oh man, still over the moon with what happened between Morph GPX and uh, A1 TMT, man. Both of the teams really put up a very good show. I mean, it kept us right at the edge of our seats. I'm pretty sure you guys are already standing up, cheering for your favorite team to win. But at the end of it all, it was A1 TMT. Now, let's check out the, uh, the second page. We're just waiting for the production to actually get on to the next one. All right, it's uh, Team Flash. At spot number nine with 29 points followed by a51 but it was an amazing performance coming from a51 because they moved up five ranks in the overalls now when it comes to those bottom four teams it's 52 esports pygmy esports vampire and drs gaming now this is uh still uh an unusual thing for me, Sir Cloud, considering that we always see on the screen how aggressive DRS, Pygmy, and 52 Esports when it's getting those elimination points. They're also good in getting those placement points. So um, to see them at the bo at the bottom of the overall ranking, ranking is somewhat of a, I don't know, like a puzzle for me. Yeah, but uh, if you can't think about it, DRS has always been involved with early fights that are placed on yeah. points to zero. But anyway, that might change later on since we're heading on to our drama. But before that, we'll take a breather. So we'll see you guys after this break.
Now, to end the show with a big bang, welcome to the final round in Miramar, ladies and gents. Before we wrap up day number one of the playoffs, you guys are still watching Clash of Giants Season 4 with yours truly, Red Queen and Sir Cloud. Man, and uh, Red Queen is on a roll today. Wow, there you go, there you go. I gotta get... I got I got a ball mojo now, okay? I think production is thinking the same right now. It's like, ooh, Red Queen. <laughs> Bringing the bringing the points to to yes. her box. Uh, great work it, there by A1 TMT to go to. It's all because of the hair, Sir Cloud. It's all ah. because of the hair. Yeah. <laughs> Not just kidding. Power of the I want to make sure that Pika, uh, you know. Uh, does his end of his bargain right he's not provided us with his tiktok dance just yet so the moment that he steps onto the stage ladies and gents please do remind him that he owes us a tiktok dance absolutely we are going to campaign for his tiktok dance even production is going to campaign for it as well right 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 we're going to make a special graph imagine right like while we talk Special graphic that comes out is like the ah, TikTok dance. Now, right? That would be perfect. <laughs> but what's not perfect is again the prediction. Of course, for Red Queen, uh, pressure's off. So now pressure's on to me and the production. You know what? I'm getting the vibes, right? I'm getting the vibes right now that uh, Morph GPX is uh, on fire. Like, uh, they've managed to reach second place in the first meter mark. And right now, their mission is to actually get the chicken dinner for the final round. So I'm going to go and lock in Morph GPX. Ooh, okay. I, I have a new found mission. My new found mission is to see every team take home a chicken dinner by the end of three so that one team up there that has not gotten a chicken dinner yet and their neighbors have all gotten chicken dinners it is t2k 
パカン Production, we are waiting for you guys. Yeah. Which of the teams do you think is gonna win for the final round? And Ooh, while waiting for production, it. ladies and gents, please feel free to come and join us for this whole prediction thing because、uh, we, we don't want our heads, you know, just、uh, getting all of this、uh, ache, right? We want you to join in the fun as well. So type it down there in the comment section which of the teams you think is gonna win our final round in Miramar. Oh, and production wants to fill in the blanks as well, so they're taking BTR. Ooh, interesting pick. The w e i r d thing about BTR is that they always early clash, even in Nirango, even in at least the first Marama. But maybe because whatever they've learned in that Marama, they might think to themselves, like, hey, you know what? Maybe we want to avoid the early clash, so maybe it's time for them to do s o m e t h i n g Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But BTR is not a bad team to、uh, bet on, actually. Um, um, yes, they are having、uh, you know, like a, a bit of a struggle at the moment. But then again, I think Sir Cloud have already established the fact that this is just day number one of the playoffs. But we do also want to bring up that we are going to have only three days of action when it comes to the playoffs. So again, we don't really have that much time. Um, you know, for all the teams right here to、uh, kind of build their foundation. I mean, if they're going to be racking up points or they, if they want a lot of points to happen for the team, they need to start early, right? In, in like just pouring the cement right down there and just build their foundation and make sure that they follow through in terms of the、uh, consistency inside the battlefield. Yeah. I mean,、uh... There's, of course, because we have still this amount of games, there's still this r o u g h Teams, whether you're in the middle to, to drop down to the bottom four, and bottom teams can catch up. So we have seen that before this, and we don't want that situation to happen to these amazing. I mean, to be fair, every team is an amazing team, but it is the nature of c o m p e t i t i o n Somebody has to be. In- yes, you're right. The nature of competition is just really, we only crown one winner, unfortunately. But. In this case, again, top 12 teams, if I'm not mistaken, Sir Cloud, top 12 teams will proceed to the、mm-hmm. grand finals. Yes. Yes. And、uh, just to update that,、uh, Eagle currently at number 12. So,、uh, and they're sharing the same amount with 52 esports. So,、um, if they don't catch up、uh, or if they don't make a comeback, then potentially after this round, be in the bottom four. Yeah, and、uh, the good thing for,、uh, for all of these teams uh, here uh, is the fact that, you know, they will have, after this broadcast, they will have a chance to go through everything that happened for today.、Uh, and with the information gathered, with the knowledge gathered,、uh, they can adjust, you know, whatever gameplay they have, whatever plans they have to go up against the same teams, right? For the next six matches. And. You just really have to work on、um, the execution, right?、Um, because no matter how good your plan is, if you cannot execute it right, then、uh, I don't think it's, I mean, it's going to be pointless.、Mm, yeah. And maybe it's also like everyone's trying to get to know each other in the lobby, like how <laughs> everyone plays, the drop spots, and all. And、uh, that might kind of affect the,、uh, the execution at the end. So I do, I do really want to say, right? Yes. Maybe some of these teams are just waiting to go past by day number、mm. one,、uh, having enough information on how other teams play each and every map, prepare us again tomorrow, and then we will see a different type of showing, especially teams on page number two. But what we will see, of course, is going to be our final game, Mirama. And oh my,、mm. like、what you pointed out, tonight is really bad. And one of the things that I've noticed, Sir Cloud, at least for the first game in Miramar, is that most of the players did not use shotguns this time. Oh, yeah. Is it, is it because of the fact that DPS have been nerfed and the S12K has been buffed? Hmm. No <laughs> changes onto that, or. So, my, my, my best guess is that these teams are preparing for the fact that if you don't have a deal, what you gonna do about that? So, I guess maybe they're doing that right now. Currently, don't see 
that many BBS you're absolutely right mm -hmm. so uh, let's see if uh, it's going to be a different story this time now that we jump into the final round that is of course headed to the barren desert of uh, Miramar and just look at that fly path underneath the, the fly path is Los Leones again this is one of the like the biggest areas that we have in Miramar you can actually fit two to three squads in this particular area this is the equivalent of uh, Yasnaya perhaps in uh, Irango so let's just check out if any of these teams are going to be choosing to drop right uh, inside Los Leones again we always have to consider the amount of loot right you always want to have that kind of advantage up against your opponents because well then if you don't have enough loot um it's gonna be hard for you to go to a much higher position but okay let's cut that one put a period on that one because one of the players come from a1 tmt apparently just got knocked down Ooh, another early engagement in. but this time by a1 okay we got pick me as well players now make that two we got drs again in action this time drs is winning the fight let's see here sleepy Oh, man. Oh, big me nice. comes here at the right time and beautifully done he's definitely not sleep there yeah i mean did you see the flashbang went off oh man sleepy perfect time right there with the spray awesome job good team execution right there drs gave me however still you know brought their a game and actually eliminated pygmy at an early onset here in Miramar, so it's, yeah, I mean, it's still DRS. Now, Vampire, on the other hand, seem to, uh, seems to be uh, waking up from their deep slumber, right? Putting up two elimination points, so I guess they're starting off uh, great this time for the final round. For the ladies of Sword Esports, again, I, I mean, they're up against Team Flash. They always seem to find themselves up against this specific um, uh, team right here in any map i might say um you know alliance up against a1 tmt um no casualties just yet for this malaysian team but i can't say the same though for the opposition i believe they've managed to put down at least one tony k on the other side of town is currently bleeding out there in the open yeah, and BTR lost a couple of players, so Tony K can be saved, but for BTR only with Genfoss. Newsy is on the chase. Genfoss, 80% of health left, and they know exactly where they're going to go in for the finish. But Luke! Oh no, knocked out. guy is there to save her. Yeah, and coming off of the kill fit, it seems like um, Team Flash is on the losing side. And Batman has just been shut down and sent back to uh, Arkham this time because he needs to uh, wake up from the reality that he is not actually Batman as per the ladies of Star Wars Esports. <laughs> so down to 14 teams. Um, Jen Foss, um, unfortunately, is the last surviving member. So let's see how far can he go this time. A1 on the other side of town as well, going up against Udo Alliance. Um, good thing is they're still complete. Very low in HP. Um, but they still have a fair chance of actually winning the fight up against Udo because Udo, the only thing is that Jimmy is already out of the game. So let's see who's going to win this fight. Yeah, and Yudu Alliance allow A1 to reset. Now they're back at the four. That's obviously not good news for Yudu Alliance since, like what you pointed out, Jimmy OP is out. Same time, Nooks when they were united, knocked down somewhere else. Well, A1 TMT. Try to gather as much information as possible. While well, Rowdy is moving across this building. And move over to Gen Force member for BTR. He fights back. Tony K knocked down for the second time. Oh. But no, will not miss a shot. Oh man, and uh, on the side of uh, A1. Uh oh, not looking too good. But uh, let's hold on to our seats, ladies and gents, because we still have one more player to go. Um, Udo Alliance uh, picking up their pace, just holding on to their uh, momentum, right? Against A1. Now we've got Olio a little bit low on the HP right here. But in, in terms of communication, right, it's pretty established. And now they are on the move, hunting the last remaining player coming from the side of A1. And that would be Deathstorm. Now that the, the 
position has been compromised. They know which building to attack. There you go. Aliyah just uh, ended the round for Rowdy, and that storm has been sent back to the lobby by Flax. So, unfortunately, A1 has been uh, eliminated from uh, from this game. Now, T2K, two active members, two elimination points. They are up against Dewa United. Here we go, T2K back. And uh, they have another member of Dewa United to deal with. It's on the other side. So now they can take their time to reset. Should be okay, 2K. There's only one more left. And it's gonna be the star man of the day. No boy. Here, keeping an eye on to T2K. It's got L with the red dot. So a decent weapon in this kind of scenario to try it out. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Igneous looting this uh, carcass right here. Let's see what uh, Snowboy is going to do in this situation, considering that he is, again, all alone, left to deal with the remaining boys of T2K. Um, uh, T2K obviously needs to uh, make up for what happened during the previous round, so they need the points. Currently, they have managed to put up three elimination points under their belt, but um, it is still not enough. They still need to get some more, obviously. Uh, because we're talking about just like a, a three-day competition when it comes to the playoffs. And if they they want to maintain their position in the top 12, well, they will have to do uh, a little bit more than what they're showing us right at this moment. Um, Suyog, again, um, has been sent back to the lobby. So it's just up to Escalera, Igneous, and Rules this time to uh, rack up each number of points for the team. Hmm. I wonder are they not interested to finish up Snowboy? Um, but I guess they're just taking the advantage of like, let's loot up first and hunt down Snowboy later on once we're all stocked up. But now we got 53 spots here. IAC. Not only the current world champions, but they are also currently leading the 51 points. Goku Bot being shot at 10% of health left. Alex, very nice high ground. We'll be able to oh. gather a lot of information. But oh, goes down. Oh man, not not a good one for for Joel. It was a two v one, so it, it was hard to pull up a win there. Now we've got Godless coming from IG Esports for the DDS and his own thing. This one play coming from fifty two. Now here comes the backup. Godless. Can he shut him down? Unfortunately, not T two four on the move. But oh man, with that fast exchange, IHC remains at the top. Man, that is why they are the champions. You poke the beehive, the bee will sting back. Mm. And now circle time. We go into the middle. Quickly. Oh, he goes towards four vertical fives. Geek Bam is in there together with Vampire E. So these three mm. teams nice and steady within the circle. And it's quite hard. Yeah. For I, I, no. I believe Sir Cloud 4 MV is a very nice spot right there. I mean, they are in an elevated position if i'm not mistaken so that is a, a good spot to hold good vantage point for the team and plenty of chance to actually score a lot of points um at this point they really need to um, perform better considering their position in the overall so let's see what's going to happen in the the next zones to come uh down to 11 teams Stage 2, guys. 10 seconds on the clock. We've got a IHC on your screen. And again, Jaw has been taken out of this match. So we're going to be seeing him tomorrow. Um, for the side of the ladies. Oh, they have won the fight this time up against Team Flash. Setting themselves up with a nice comfy four elimination points uh, for this uh, final round in Midamar. Nice. Too bad we didn't get to see it on, on screen, but uh, at least on practicality basis, this is the four points that's going to be crucial for the Oh, DRS! Knock one, member of IHC. Godless now. Hoping for a god to save him. <laughs> Alright, here comes Rogue. Popping off those smokes, of course. Uh, you would want to go and hide your teammate right there so he can sit uh, comfortably while... He waits for someone to uh, heal him up, but right now his uh, torso is probably bleeding out there. 
Um, uh, going back to TRS for elimination points, and they are already on the move to go in for the pinch. Trap I see and just like make it rain. Alex getting some damage, and now he is on prone, getting back a little, right? To uh, reset, but he needs to heal up. But Rogue, on the other hand, wasn't able to dodge that attack coming from DRS. Oh, look at this. Gante taking out the blue while he does not have any aids. No vehicle as well. Um, looking over at teammate, Sleepy now has one first aid. Alex tries to get away. Safety should be A-OK. -okay. Because right now, DRS, they need to focus on to hopefully be able to loot a couple of first aids. And XMPL able to get four of them. Mm-hmm. And uh, again, I mean, I can be four on the movie again. So, might as well escape this fate. And Alex knows that. kind of, uh, like, hide himself. For now, live to fight another day. Okay, circle time. Sir Cloud, mm -hmm. we've got the ladies of Sword Esports coming from the north side, passing Pecado. But most, if not all, of the teams will be passing through the east side of, uh, of Midamar. And I believe that's one of the points we're in we need to have eyes on because that's where the party will start. Yeah, and the ladies uh, should have an okay entry considering like what you say, most of the teams coming in from the east side. And uh, that is where we see more fights happening. Vampire was now in the skirmish against A51. Mukesh on the second floor. Lucy pins him back down. Mm, oh man, Schweppes unfortunately got sent back to the lobby as well. Oh man, this is a conflict that oh, needs oh. resolving with guns nonetheless. Now Rex with a UMP shots down. Tony K now Rex coming from A51 on his knee. Same thing goes for Rums, who's gonna be oh. winning the fight as uh, 3663 oh. gets down on his knees as well. Now two active players for the side of A51. A51 getting aggressive. As uh, they have eliminated that guy. Wow, that is wow. brutally done by A51. Yeah, nice defense by A51 against Vampire Esports. And now Mob GPS will be looking over oh. at uh, the elimination. Thinking to decide that do they want to go for it? But they got the careful. Oh, they oh. to my full cash. Oh man, that will stop Mob GPX on the track. They had the idea of crashing into this compound. Yeah, another one bites the dust. It seems like, you know, in Minamar, the sun is shining too bright for Vampire Esports to survive, right? They just got burned so hard right there, served. Oh my goodness, that M Mukesh, okay, was able to shut down Zay, but uh, I think there's still time to go for that quick pickup right there. Unfortunately for Mukesh, right, that was a missed opportunity. But that will go to his damage output. So <laughs> I think that's still good news. Uh, so what, ladies, here we go. Duka is uh, up but gets... Oh, no. It's Alex coming from IHC. Can she survive this engagement, Sir Cloud? So far, so good. Backup is on the way, though. So she needs to hold her ground well. And backup. Hello, Luke. Oh! That's the name from Alex. Oh, Duca down. And now Duke has to follow up. Alex now 40% of health. Nice! Ray comes in. And Luke will save the day. And also save Duca. Oh, man. I'm not being biased here, but the ladies did extremely well, okay? Now, Hazel coming from Morph GPX just uh, threw a nade up against this... Uh, one player coming from SDE, I believe that was Wisdom. All right, but the, the, the engagement's just not over yet. Now we can see Hazel firing up his UMP, right? Up against this player, was able to inflict damage, but uh, still not enough to shot this girl down. Oh, you are not putting her down. Jump shots, there are a lot of jump shots happening right now. He pulls out his M249. Oh, the light submachine gun is all ready in use. Wisdom oh. getting tagged as well oh. from behind. Oh, man. Everyone is out to get the girls. Oh, and Duke has one go. But then again, unfortunately, they will lose. And then one. Now it's down to Duke to hold on for positioning points. Come off GPX. Managed to win that fight, but they are not out of the circle just yet. They have crossed and there will be another team waiting for them in the circle. 
Yeah, I, I believe they, they got a little help, though, you know, from the team surrounding them, uh, staying uh, at the, the mountain ranges somewhere. Um, uh, five uh, elimination points for the Malaysian team, which is uh, Yudu Alliance. So I guess they're doing okay, but we're down to just eight teams. And uh, this is just stage four, Sir Cloud. And we, we did talk about just a while ago how fast the games are. Oh, yeah, and it's still that fast. The gig fam. Might lose Sonics. Audrey tanking out of blue. Going towards his teammate. But the other teams are still around and they're not in the circle just said They're not out of the woods. Killer. Spray for the high ground on the Oleo. Forces him to retreat into the compound. Mm -hmm. XMP along the other side of town just got knocked down by the blue reaper. So I don't think he's going to be surviving that one. But Rose. Oh, oh man. No. Oh, he no. just oh, no. lost the fight ah. to Oleo. Oleo of you to Alliance. Unfortunately though, again. For the blue zone wins the fight. The blue zone always wins. <laughs> oh, oh, and it could win against Killer, but Killer has two first ace. But Red Queen, we have stage. But we only have five teams left. Right? I told you. Uh, I mean, eh, everyone is aggressive. Everyone is out oh, the there to uh, really get those uh, kills. Everyone is. Um, uh, bloodthirsty this time, Sir Cloud, which we love, of course. I mean, this is what we came for. All of the action from PUBG Mobile. Now, here comes Zay again. Popping up smokes to uh, save his teammate, but his former co-vibes gonna let this one pass? I don't think so. I mean, we got Baron over here. Managed to shut down Azel with a nade. Oh, man. Four Miracle Vibes finally stepping ah. up into the gameplay. Now, Zay, very low in HP. Oh. Having a trade with Baron, but yes, I think Four Miracle Vibes now wins the fight. Nice follow up again by Baron there to save his teammate. And now that they're with the Kings oh. of the Hill, it's going to be hard for the team to take over that area out of their hands. Jig Fam zooming into the middle of They will part themselves in a safe area. Their closest opponent is going to be Aero Four Miracle Vibes, but even so, it's going to be quite fast though. <laughs> okay. Um, it's amazing because for Miracle Vibes, right now we can see them uh, retaliating. I mean, game one to game number five, they really, they didn't really have you know like a good set of matches. But um, I, mean, I guess it's okay. I mean, we are seeing them dominate this final round as we speak. But uh, again, we're still looking for that consistency and if they can manage to really capture the winner this time. But here it comes. Um, the attack coming from I, Zane. He did do a little spray, but I think he is off to another angle here, Sir Cloud. Yeah, I, Zane, I think he wants to focus on to get into the circle since his sunnies are really, really far away. And they're in the circle, so they're kind of like a mark for him to follow up to. But Rum's not interested to let I, Zane go, but he does information. Oh, arrow spotted out by Rum's. Gotta be careful. Hmm, hmm. Oh man, at this point, they all need to be careful because you've managed to get this far and uh, you just want to win, right? This final match here in Miramar. You need all the points that you can get, honestly. I mean, the competition is tight, so you need all the help that you can get. Um, uh, Arrow, okay, now back to Mukesh of A51. And we've seen A51 with their aggressive gameplay, and it's showing a bit right now for this final match. We still do hope that they can bring in that kind of tenacity, that kind of energy that we've seen all throughout the qualifying rounds, right? And it's a good thing that they are here, part of stage number five in the final round here in Middle March. Yeah, they made two away, Aizdane. But then again, the four medical vibes. We got Doc here all alone. The other team is behind him, trying to hold on the line against 51. I need a way into the circle. Oh, the oh! Nice spray. Another one on the Mokesh. Oh, Mokesh managed to get away, but Rob will give away his point to Doc. Ooh, okay. Um, I mean, it was a tough call. That was a tough move. And uh, they probably know, right? I mean, if you ride a buggy, if you stay at the back, if there's like a 70% chance that you'll get knocked down. But it's the, the it's a risk they're willing to take, especially now that they find themselves right at the last few rounds of stage five of this competition. Now we've got Isaac once again 
And uh, tr uh, tr try to do a massive spray up against the one unfortunately was able to shut down, but it's a different oh, story for Mika. Mika! He gets a point! Wow, Mika and Audrey Duo that sprayed onto A51 to eliminate all of them! And now we got Doc here trying to get away to safety. 40% of health. He is a okay. We get it through the buildings, but we got DRS with Killer, the last man standing here just across the other members of Formidable Vine. Mm hmm. All right, here we go. Not bad at all. Seven elimination points for DRS. And they're part of the, uh, the, the final three teams here. Stage five, man. I mean, it's a. Uh... It's a great performance nonetheless, at least for this round. Um, they need to pick up the pace considering their position in the overall rankings. They are at the bottom, so they really need to step up their gameplay. Now, we've got four Miracle Vibes dock inside that compound. I mean, he wouldn't even dare, right, to expose himself because at the top, right? I mean, right above him are the boys of Geek Fam. So, not a good spot, right? Not the best of spots. Hmm. If I were to look at this right, well, I would want to say that Geek Fam has the best spot, but then they don't have a circle. Mm. But the better one is probably within the city now, where four medical vice is at. Mm. It's on the outside of the circle too. So, okay, okay. Now we got a better visual. So Geek Fam, they are in the circle. So Audrey's position is the best, as long as he doesn't get knocked. Yeah, and uh, if four Miracle Vibes actually leaves the, the, this compound right here, Sir Gladys pretty exposed. Or, yeah, they're at the top, but if they would want to go for, like, I mean, go down in the uh, the compounds right there, in the set of houses, it's going to be difficult. But let's see if Killer White can pull up a kill! Wow! Whoa. From the window with a DBS shutdown, Killer YT still bringing his A game. With eight eliminations, up three so far. Oh. This is the best round for DRS at this moment, ladies and gentlemen. The four medical vibes will get one out of Geek Fam, and now Geek Fam Audrey down. Only one last member of Geek Fam left. That's going to be Aizen. He's on the lower ground though, so Audrey. As what we spoke earlier on, cannot afford to be knocked, and now he's been taken out. Gam do not have the best position possible now. Oh man, Doc, with his awesome moves, right? Uh, putting a lot of pressure to uh, both the, uh, I guess, Killer. Yeah, Killer and all. Oh, they're waiting players coming from Geek Fam. Um, uh, Killer on the other hand. Uh, it's so amazing. I mean, if you're the last remaining player of your team, you just know that the pressure is really, really high considering that, you know, there's a need for you to actually step up your gameplay with a chicken dinner, but oh. Baron just put an end to that one. So that leads us to just two teams remaining, which is Geek versus 4MV, but this is a 3v1. So uh, it's going to be a lot more difficult onto the side of Geek. Uh, I mean, it, it looks almost impossible for Aizen to put off a clutch here, but... And it's up against Formidable Vibes. I mean, the number four team in the world we're talking about. And now with Baron, Arrow, and Dog knowing where exactly he is at. And this, ladies and gentlemen, Formidable Vibes is going to take home the final dinner for today. And in summary, hmm. three of the chicken dinners by... Uh, the second dinners won today was by a Mongolian team. Wow, amazing. And to our show for day number one of the playoffs. And I do believe for this specific match right here, Sir Cloud, the MVP will come from uh, for Miracle Vaz because um, I think, yeah, I'm looking. Okay, it was Baron with uh, five elimination points so that is uh, that is high considering the kind of players that we have inside the lobby they're all high caliber teams high caliber players so to reach this kind of uh, elimination points is already fascinating oh yeah absolutely absolutely i mean they are all big big teams right mm. yeah uh, the fact that you can get a chicken dinner even though if you uh, it's not a big big count Mm. It's still a big achievement. For, for all Miracle Vibes, they have always shown that they 
have that potential of breaking. I mean, they have good rounds in Irangle as well. They're almost coming close um, many, many times. And finally, they landed that chicken dinner in the final game. And with the chicken dinner, I mean, this could bring them uh, complete in the top 12 to move on to the next round at least. Oh, uh, yes, that could be the case, no doubt. Um, teams to watch, uh, in case you guys are keeping track, of course. Four Miracle Vibes winning uh, the final round. We also got DRS, Gig in A51, of course. It's amazing, you know, one of the uh, dark course, right? Included for the teams to watch out for when it comes to this specific map right here. And again, I mean, um, for the guys of uh, A51, they just need to really continue on to that kind of uh, level uh, playing. Um, uh, okay, so MVP, it's killer coming from DRS. Uh, we talked about uh, Baron setting up to the five elimination points, right? But when it comes to the damage output, um, Killer YD sets up uh, an outstanding 883. So I guess uh, that's the big difference there. Yeah, and this is the best round for DRS. Hopefully, they'll be able to carry the momentum to tomorrow because they need it. And top performers here, we got Baron with the most eliminations of them all. Killer with most damage, of course, 883. And then we have Doc for four medical vibes too. And then we got Kanta for 851 with three eliminations as well, making it to the top performers list. Yeah. And we got two from four medical vibes. This is a maybe a sign for them to carry on to next uh, for tomorrow mm, yes you are right and also i believe that cancer uh, is like a, a promising player for the side of a51 so we do expect a lot of great things still coming from this specific team right here now as for the match rankings it's a total of 19 points for four miracle fives now we've got 13 for the side of drs geek with 10 so these are your top three performing teams for the final round today here we go the other teams unfortunately uh, beat me as well btr no points in this round hopefully they'll be Ooh. able to face tomorrow but look at the match stats wow whoa a throwables only nine days <laughs> despite yeah. like after all that action with that yet drama when was the last time that we seen a double digit throwable drama never i think yeah a huge drop right huge drop i mean from uh, game two to game five we um uh, i mean almost it reached 200 but it's a huge drop right now considering it was only 1998 if i'm not mistaken right but one of the best highlights i can say sir cloud i mean for this day right uh i will have to give it to the ladies of ste i mean even though, um, you know, when it comes to not getting that much elimination points, um, the fact that they are playing at this level is just amazing. And you mentioned it. They are the champions for the latest showdown, right? But also brought to you by um, Ruthless Hive Esports. But let's check out the overall MVP for day number one of the playoffs. It is none other than Jal of IHC. Total of 11 Elimination points and 3,025 damage output. Yeah, I mean, how can we question him, <laughs> right? World champion, 11 eliminations and 3,025. With an average time of 15 minutes, 51 seconds, and 33.33 standard contribution. He has been a standout player for ICE Esports. But let's look at competition, right? So we got Doc. Here for four vertical vibes coming in at second place. And then Escalera, who always shows up for T2K Esports, by the way. The number three, the only player without a picture. So hmm. something needs to be done to unlock this picture. And then we have United Helios with Snowboy, who I've also mentioned that this guy has always been showing they were United as well. And Hitman for A1 TMG Esports for five. Yeah, and just check out the average elimination points for Snowboy, Sir Cloud. It's two. Point thirty three. So this guy is averaging two to three elimination points per round. And look at the overall fraggers here. Snowboy! This one, this is the guy. The guy that we gotta keep an eye on, alright. Snowboy. 
14 eliminations. And a hero with 12, followed by Zero. But of course, Zero is the MVP because he has a more damage compared to the rest of them. And then followed by Doc and Escalera from UK has to be there as well. So keep your eye on the snowboard and cool. how we look at the overall ranking. <laughs> IHC Esports seems to be sitting comfortably, uh, you know, uh, in the throne right now with a total of 55 points. But that is just like a two point lead up against four Miracle Vibes who went up three spots in the overall rankings 53 points with one chicken dinner t2k esports it's the same score dewa united and a1 tmt esports first top five teams for day number one yeah doing really well up there in fact the two more teams up there i mean just shows the dominance of mongolia again and uh, and uh, for uh, Tower girls, although they did really well this round, but because they were there was a, a good performance by DRS, kind of pushed them down a little bit. But they're still, um, oh, then unfortunately because of uh, DRS's performance, Tower girls pushed out to the bottom four, mm. and not me is the bottom four is is at number sixteen instead. Yeah, and it's just so amazing, Sir Cloud. With just one game, four Miracle Vibes was able to like. Ah, oh, man, um, leap so hard, you know, in the overall rankings, getting themselves out of the second page. Yeah, I mean, the competition is starting to get real time, but we have two more days to, and the points are still not that big of a gap. So, most importantly, is to not be in the bottom four. And if you look at the points, it is close enough with the report for go tomorrow and day after tomorrow will still be big for teams on number two, especially. Yes, and again, ladies and gents, we're done with the uh, six matches here inside uh, Clash of Giants Season 4. This is just day number one of the playoffs. So if you've seen a lot of action happen for just day number one, expect a lot more for day two and day number three. And as for the highlights, of course, you need to follow Ruthless Hype Esports on TikTok because that's where they post it. And if you don't want to miss out on any of the action that is happening inside this tournament, you have got to follow them on Facebook as well, right here on their YouTube channel. Yes, but that's all for us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow, we'll continue on the fight. Same, same channel. Don't forget to give a follow so you don't miss out on all the action. I do Mr. Cloud together with Red Queen and a new hair. We'll be signing off for tonight. See you again tomorrow. Bye.